<coughs> okay. Let me make sure everything's working. All right. Just do that. Audio's going over here. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Looking at the audio waves. All right. And then when the Discord stuff happens, that's going to be happening. Gonna be hip hop and happening. What's up, babies? How y'all doing on this lovely day? For some reason, the Steam's telling me my bit rate is dog shit. I hope that's a lie. Let me refresh that. Better be a fucking lie. Yeah, we're good. We're in the green. We're awesome. We're great. We're looking wonderful. Looking beautiful. <coughs> cough, cough. All right. So. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My machine, everything in between. It's more Mass Erect 1. Where we last left off, we were playing the original version of the legend legendary edition of Mass Effect 1. But now it's time for Chad Wellington to be here in his most appropriate manner. I give you the prettiest boy you've ever seen. Mr. Wellington, please take it away. Look at how beautiful that boy is. Look at how handsome that man is. Alright. So, what happened between this stream and the last stream is that I switched over from the PS5 version to the PC version, modded it the fuck out of it, and then played all the way up to where we left off. I think some choices I made might be a little different, but nothing too crazy. None of the major choices changed, right? So... For the most part, everything's pretty much the same. Now, just wanna check on a Discord. I gotta wait. I gotta wait till Basil joins us once he's done doing what he's doing, and then he will be here. But for the time being. Let's go over our equipment real quick, because I really do need to change things up and give Shepard some good shit. Right, first of all, check this armor out. Right, how do I sort this shit? Level down. Sort by name, what the fuck? Oh, sort by level gun. Oh, okay. Wait, what? 33, 5. If I do that, 12, 7, 5. Okay, yeah, the strongest would be at the top. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Wait, no, this one is the strongest. Is that, wait, what? Explorer 2. What the fuck ever, man. Alrighty. So, we're gonna be going find Liara. That's our first mission we're gonna do, but first... We're gonna have to look around. Talk... to some of the crew members. Commander! Something you need? What's up, Joker? Why is this fucking way louder than I remember? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot commander. Look how shiny Joker's you, eyes are. I'm anything but average. They're so damn beautiful. Alright. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? I can well, see where this is going, Shepard. You're trying to suck you my penis. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. 
all those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. You okay, Joker? You sound like a touchy subject, man. I can't have you on this ship if you're gonna infect my crew. <laughs> infect the crew? Oh man, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Okay. No, I don't. You kind of just went on a rant for no reason. Bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack. It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. I don't like how he snapped his neck when he said crack. That made me very uncomfortable. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. I need to know more about this Brolic syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extreme. What kind of fucking sniper mark is that? Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. Productive member of society. Alright, um. You do your job. You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? I, I don't fly with my feet, Commander. Oh, you're here now. So I'm fine as long as I'm yeah, in this chair. Yeah, pooped a good old. Alright. Well, now that you're here, as well as you can do me a great favor, so right? Head over oh. to the Twitch and make sure the fucking audio is working. Oh. I'm not oh, trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about right. something else. Whatever you want, Because I'm going to have to fix your audio, and then if Jay ends up joining too, fucking... Lord knows I'm gonna have to fix his audio because his shit's either too quiet all the time or too loud. Call you Joker? Uh, it's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. All right. Tell me when you're on the stream. You're dodging yeah. the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I have to go. Alright, Joker, goodbye. Right, Thank you. All the audio good is for the game and you. The audio is good for well. First, I got all right. First things first. Let's get the fuck out of the ship, because the loudest audio in the game that I can think of off the top of my head is the fucking gunshots. They're not okay. What the fuck was that? <laughs> You're glitching out majorly bad. All right. Oh god, does that always sound like holy fuck? Oh god, does that always sound like whoa? I do smoke fifty packs a day. Exo Presley has the deck. Yeah, what happened to your fucking voice, man? I got sick on Saturday, and then I was like, okay, this'll, this'll disappear by, like, Monday. Okay. It didn't. And then today, it's just been, like, groggy head, fucking sore throat. I've been through, like, four voices today. And now it's just doing voice cracks. Alright, testing audio for me. Ready? Go for it. Alright. Audio test one two three one two three one two three. Yeah, you are coming over your gunshots. So. All right, now audio test for you. You think you can listen to yourself? Yeah, I don't know. I sound like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can hear myself just fine. Just yeah. Well, it's uh, quiet right probably. now. The goal is to have both our audio better than the game audio. Alright, uh, start the test. Three, two, one. Uh, I'm going to do test, test, test. Yeah, I can hear myself over my gunshots. Are your gunshots? Oh, 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 oh. I got a new voice. Over my gunshots. <laughs> I'm gonna get you an iron one. <laughs> Alright, and then once Jay joins, if he does, fucking, then I know I'm gonna have to lower him for fuck's sake. The only reason yeah, why the second episode of fucking Resident Evil 5 hasn't gone up yet, because I gotta edit it every single time he opens his mouth. <laughs> he also doesn't make coherent sentences. <laughs> okay. 
You like, didn't know this? No, but oh, in my mind, I'm like, we're playing the game, and I, I understand what the fuck he's talking about. But I'm sitting there, <laughs> I'm sitting there editing it, and every time he opens his mouth, it's like, and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, so it's not actually English. No, it really isn't. <laughs> he, he, like, turns to courage a lot. If anyone has to take I thought you meant you were going to turn into, uh, into Clifford. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. Starts oh. speaking, but starts, like, not making sense. Clifford? Yeah, the big red dog. What do you mean? Clifford talked, like, perfect sentences. Did he? Yeah, he never, like, stuttered. Or... That's courage. Uh -oh, courage okay. is the one that's like, <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh, the things I do for love. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if Speak we fuck the aliens or not. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's called cultural exchange. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. Look how no pretty his eyes are. <laughs> pretty blue eyes. More like in his stubble that he's got going. This is he really does got some good ass stubble. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy. And I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. I was gonna make fucking Chad Wellington's facial structure like fucking on, a little President. bit more feminine. Yes, sir. Right? But the oh, yeah, moment that jaw is like sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah. But like the moment I got it working, I'm like, you know, I, I it spent like the getting the face to work properly was it was the longest process ever, and I don't even want to fuck it up. <laughs> I don't want to yeah, fuck with it anymore. Right. But hey, he's still he's still pretty man. He is indeed a man. Giga Chad, for some reason Kaiden doesn't want to talk to me, but that's okay, you piece of shit. Oh. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. We were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Yeah, no, we're we'll we dead. <laughs> no, we won't, Kaiden. We won't have time because I'm going to ignore the fuck out of you. <laughs> this is one of the few times hey, you get to speak to me. Hey, Kaiden. Guess what? You're going to die. Gaiden is gonna die. He, he's definitely being sacrificed. <laughs> There's too many playthroughs in the world where Kaiden's alive. We need to equal it out a bit. And that also means we're gonna be rep representing Team Microsoft this time instead of Team Sony. Do you get Thanks the joke? Do you get the board, joke? Commander. Do you get it? I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life. Meaning to, no, meaning right. to. Liara's last name is Tassoni. Oh. Fuck. And and Ashley's a racist, so of course she likes Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. She's super patriotic and a racist Spectre and fucking <laughs> and conservative. So of course she likes Xbox. Motherfucker. God damn it. The reason we're killing Kaiden is cause he cause he's fucking around with Nintendo over there. He's still playing fucking Smash Melee. Being a specter does have its advantages. Exactly my point. He plays with the controller on his lap and holds the stick with like a separate hand. I do it, as long as I do it. But C -Sec wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come Like Garrus is good. That's why I left He's so beautiful. It. Yeah, yeah, she looks so simple for once. He didn't like the way they do things. There's more to it than that. I like his armor better. Start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with Yeah, his armor's cool. But I mean, we got casual outfits now, so when we walk around a Citadel and shit, you don't have to see fucking Shepard's camel toe. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. Garrus, what does my power level say? What does the say about my power level? As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Good job, Garrus. Good job, good job, good job. Hi, Ashley. Commander. How we doing? How we doing, Ashley? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. I'm Both sorry? Guys, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... 
the way you said that. You wish that was Yeah, yeah she's pissed. Yes. Well, she's happy it's not, it's just, yeah, it's like, wish we would have got there sooner. It's like, what the fuck? I was just supposed to go there for, like, a retrieval mission. <laughs> yeah, well, at the same time, their communications were cut, so it's like, they couldn't get reinforcements. They don't even they need it. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Her eyes are fucking pretty as shit. Do you have a few minutes to talk? While Everybody has pretty eyes. I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Can you, like, stop giving me the fucking stink eye? Dismissed, Chief. Fix your fucking face. Stop talking to me like that. Sir. Sir? Hi, Rex. Don't worry, she'll call you daddy later. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I now, do? I want to make it very clear. She's gonna be alive, right? Yeah, That's she's gonna be alive. And she's the romance for this, right? Story. But the moment I could kick her ass to the curve, it's happening. If you, want stories. you Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. It was hilarious. They tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. No matter what choice you pick here, Shepard's just gonna say to the me. exact same shit. So your people oh, yeah. were infected with a genetic mutation? So I'm just gonna renegade the shit out of this. That makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I'll get over it, you baby. You're still here. It can't be all that bad. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Alright, Turtle Man. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan... What I animal would you consider Tally? The Tally? Yeah. Garrus is a lizard. Fucking... Uh, Rex is a turtle. Are your people really what the fuck is Tally? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. I don't know. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. I don't know what a creature that re re relies on gas. Oh my god. A creature that relies on gas? What? Well, Tally's got her own, like, suit going on. It's, like, filled with gases, isn't it? Oh, I was gonna say a creature with, like, an immunodeficiency. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. Are there any creatures that have like but an immunity, uh, immunity deficiency? We're not I don't know. Settlers. I've never looked into it that much. I don't know, you got your fucking hands free. <laughs> <laughs> Type it in the Google. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Uh... Ask the Solarians if you want details. So I want to point out that Genophage isn't fucking the Krogans like shooting oh, blanks. It's like they're getting pregnant, but they just don't survive. Possible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one, and no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? Why don't the Krogan, Krogan find a cure? Do we look smart? He rather find a cure for the we didn't even make our own weapons. The, the Solarians gave it to us. We'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. The Krogans are literally so like if you just gave, like, cavemen a nuke. It's basically what happened. Even their home planet is, like, nuked to hell. That's why it's like a fucking wasteland. It's Mad Max over there. Uh, immunodeficient animals are knockout mice. She's a mouse? Yeah. She's like mousely? Yeah. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. That's adorable. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Turns around, breaks his neck, I can see. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. 
You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. I mean... Stealth systems. I mean, Tally's down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat. Not with that attitude. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. The fuck? Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts Not light our speed. emissions. Pushes faster than light speed. too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight. But for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing. And we've got the only... So it's basically like that ship from fucking, uh... What is it? Episode 8 of Star Wars? When the whole movie is that they're just stuck on the ship? I want to know more about the Normandy. Mm. She's the best ship and they do that cool shit where well, they jump to light the speed and she fucking goes design. through the goddamn She's the only one using imperial tantalus drive core. ship or whatever the fuck. What's so special yeah. about the Tantalus drive core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. And then Leia does that oh, weird fucking faster. pose thing <laughs> in space. <laughs> <laughs> Green Carry screen in space. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. It's kind of crazy how everybody died except for the character that canonically died. Yeah, I got you know what? Actually, no, I take that back. They did wreck on that, didn't they? Because, like, the next movie or whatever was like, oh, between the movies, Leia died. No, no. And they're like, we're going to have a funeral for her. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Tug now, ship? I'm sitting now on we're talking. One of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. It's okay, you mouse. I got a rat hanging out on the bottom of my ship. Chewing all my wires. Upgrading no your wires. So That's why she's chewing on it. <laughs> it comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't. It kind of makes sense too, because they're scavengers. Castoffs and secondhand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. So I bet you guys got some sick-ass gaming setups. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible. They got gaming setups from the 1980s. Yeah, but they keep upgrading them. But some yeah. things Talk about that blast processing. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just They just, like, duct tape, like, 50 seconds together? That's are so important. Like three million copies of ET for the Atari turns into Grand Theft Auto. Tell no, me that about is fucking pottery. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in yeah, some way joke. contribute to the continuation what? of the migrant fleet. Did you even hear what I said? No, you said it turns to pod racing. No. <laughs> I chuckled. No, that's pod racing. Wait, the what? Among my people are strong. Oh, never mind. Bad jokes. I don't bad get it. Explain. I've had to surrender many of no, the bad joke. And civil liberties other species take for granted. You're a bad joke. I am. I wish your parents my never made you. Me. <laughs> what kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. How much strain you to of your breaking point? Also can't allow our numbers to become too few. You ever see that uh that like YouTube short of the guy with like the stupid cross thing that he cracks his back on? In extreme cases of population decline, 
the name of that uh <laughs> The name of that that well, short is My Wife's Boyfriend Gave Me This. <laughs> and then you go to the comments and people are like, your wife's boyfriend, so he had to break both your backs? <laughs> I'm like, whoa. The I'm like, they went for his fucking neck. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the conclave and also a motherfucker put my wife's boyfriend you could just put my wife on matters that affect an individual <laughs> ship however the captain or my friend say. it's a tradition that dates back to the, the man that cucks when me. the fleet was governed by martial law yeah, they might be polyamorous most captains nowadays yeah, are smart enough to have an elected captain normal thing now. their crew to give it's them normal if you're guidance. you're normal it's normal if fucking you can communicate well so the ultimate power rests So many people try to do it without communicating and then it just creates nothing but problems. The conclave and the respective council Well yeah, that's when you get when you do monogamy with them you got daily lives. lives. But oh in my god, they're still <laughs> under military jurisdiction. The five top military officers in the fleet are on the Admiralty board. These five Don't you have like tea or something? Drink some tea. Because uh, I'm, I'm telling you right now, drinking carbonated ass monster isn't gonna help. Oh, I'm not even drinking monster. I I had a fucking little jug of uh, jug of milk. It's a safeguard that served us well. I bought it just for my voice. I did shit all. Why didn't you just have just regular chocolate milk? Four times. It was chocolate, regular ass chocolate milk. So you didn't, not even hot chocolate, just regular chocolate no. milk, and you thought that would help with your, you thought yeah. that would help with your voice? Yeah, I thought it would soothe my neck. It's cold. Why would it soothe your neck? Because it's milk. But it's cold. It's just going to tighten up the muscle. Man, I don't know. You could have just done it with hot chocolate. You used to, you know, just milk and milk chocolate, just put it in the microwave and warm it up. Or you can be bougie like me and make your hot chocolate from scratch, you know what I mean? Just fucking get some of that bacon chocolate, some cinnamon. A little bit of nutmeg, some vanilla extract, put that in there. Flipper pot. Stop staring at my shepherd like that, he, he runs weird, alright? I'm looking at him at them legs. I know they're looking at them, them paddle feet. Yeah, I don't like any of the body types that they do for Mass Effect. <laughs> Honestly. Why the fuck do I think I gotta go talk to Joker to fucking start my ship? Cause it's you. Fuck that's supposed to mean. It's you. So remember when we uh, went in here last time and I was like, oh, it's supposed to show me where like all the objectives are. Mm -hmm. So it actually is showing me where all the, all the objectives are. And this is the menu that it shows it in. Because I went back to it on the original trilogy. And then the only thing that it showed me was like the main missions and not the side missions. But when you go into this, you still have to manually go look for it. Oh, okay. So there's still a game in it. Yeah, a bit. A little bit, cheeky bit. I love how the mass relays are just slingshots. Literally, it's some super space slingshot. All right. Oh, what do you mean land here? Shit, I wasn't trying to land. Oh god damn it! You know what? I'm just gonna head straight to the Liara. <laughs> Fuck. Note to self: Gareth dies a lot. Yeah. Gareth, you all right? Gareth? Still taking Dally with me. Take Rexy boy this time. I want to take care because his sniper and skill is Rexy boy. his snipes are so good. Rexy boy. I'll take Rex on the next mission. No. Well, I need Rex is kind of shit in this mission because we got to fight the giant Geth Walker on foot, and shotgun's not going to help me with that. 
or you prefer I take Ashley? No. Exactly. No. So Garrus is coming with. Because he has to. Why is it never the ones I want? Mm, I feel biased. What do you mean? I fucking. Last time when I was catching up to shit, Rex was with us the whole time. He wasn't in the mesh. He didn't even let me pick a choice. Because these two just work better for this mission. When you gotta fight that giant walker on foot, they're better for it. Because bionics don't do shit to it, and shotguns ain't gonna help. I keep forgetting that I have a limited boost. Fuck. Oh, also, I forgot that I can do this. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Goodbye, oh, world! What the fuck? I do not remember that. You don't, because it was like a limited little short hop. Okay. <laughs> now it's unlimited. Yeah. But I'm barely going to use it, because I don't want to break anything. Dude, everything is super sensitive with all these mods. I don't want to break shit. Because then I have to uninstall it all and reinstall it in the correct order as well. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of times to break the game in Mass Effect too. You know the best one. run them over and they just ragdoll. They go crunchy. They fold like a fucking deck of cards. So how was work today? What did you do? How was work, honey? <laughs> Tell me your day. Well, I was pulled in to do my score sheets. I was told that I'm a very versatile little bitch. And that I'm a And then they docked your pay. <laughs> no, they gave me 50 cents and said, hey, this is your raise for the entire year. Enjoy it. Yeah, fuck it. I guess that's like a different... I guess that's... Oh, well, it'll be different for you guys. But for us over here, fucking, I guess... They changed it to like a 50 cent raise instead of like an extra dollar now? Maybe because of inflation or some bullshit? Oh, yeah. No, the inflation's getting bad. Yeah, it's getting real terrible. Especially for you guys. Yeah, no, our gas used to be like a 162. Like a dollar 62 cents or something. And it shot up to a 199 overnight. Yikes. That's 199 Canadian money, so that's like what, five bucks for us? It used to cost me like about 50, 60. Oh god! To get a full tank of gas. And now it's cost me close to 80 bucks now. Oh. 80 bucks in Canadian money? Oh god, so that's yeah. like. I'm doing the math in my head. That's like fucking. Well, think about doing 60 bucks and then having to jump no. up to 80 bucks. See, I had it until you start talking, damn it. <laughs> ah. There's not much difference other than a slight conversion, which I'm not gonna fucking remember. That's what I'm trying to do in my head. I think it's like, what, 115 for us? A conversion? For a yeah. dollar? No, 80, 80 bucks. 80 bucks for you is like 115 for us. Oh. Right? Wait, is your wait, whose whose dollar is bigger? Your dollar's bigger, right? I thought yours was I thought ours was bigger by like a literal dollar. Oh, it's definitely not bigger by a dollar. It's definitely not bigger by a dollar. <laughs> I can tell you that. I'll search it up once I'm like, doing Cause like cuz like what? Uh No, actually, it would just be like 80 bucks for you would probably be like. Oh, give me a second. I'll search it up. I'll search it up. I just forget whose dollar is bigger. I think. 
I think our dollar might be bigger, actually. Hold up. Uh, with your guys' arrogance, probably. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that would be like 70 for us. Your 80 would be like our, our 70. I think. I'm gonna stick Canadian with that. Canadian dollar. I'm sticking with that. Your 80 is like R70. To US dollar. So one Canadian dollar equals 76 cents to you guys. Yeah, so. Which, so yeah, yeah, so basically, if I had $100 in Canadian. Yeah. Uh, you'd have seventy six dollars. Oh shit! Cents. Oh, it's way more. Oh wow. Yeah, that is honestly new news. Because I knew it was like someone's bigger, but because I I knew it's like like uh to buy a new game in Canada and U.S. is like what a ten dollar difference or something like that. Yeah, pretty much. That's why I'm not usually buying shit. Cause usually I gotta worry about like the price. I want I gotta figure out like, hey, is the tax gonna be higher than that? Predator clear. What is what is your guy's minimum wage over there? Our minimum wage is either fourteen something or it got raised to fifteen. Fifty, I think. Wait, so your dollar is more than our dollar, but you get paid less minimum wage than what the? F most jobs we have here, like uh, that I've seen, are, um, oh my god, and hold on, I need to take a drink. Oh, alright. Because our minimum wage now is like, I think like either 16 or, it's definitely not 15 no more. Um, minimum wage. For US, it's supposed to be like 16 for the US, I think, now? Um, temporary low or minimum wage jobs to keep pace with inflation. The federal, the federal minimum wage will be increased from 15, 55 to 16, 65. For you guys or us? Oh, uh, for me. So that was on April. Oh, you motherfuckers! That's a horrible date. April Fools? They did that on April. They did that on April first. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> Fuck your raise. Die in a ditch um, where you belong. Unmarked graves for you. But yeah, no, like I make twenty-five an hour right now, and eight hours forty in a schedule. Um, every pay, every two weeks, I'm seeing about one fifth. Oh god, you get paid bi-weekly? Fuck. Yeah. I don't get paid weekly or uh, monthly. Yeah, my first job that I had, I got paid bi-weekly, and then, like, New York fucking said, you know what? Illegal. <laughs> they said, uh-uh, yeah. this bi-weekly shit? Illegal. Stop it. Yeah, no, they could do that with us. I mean, you guys still got free healthcare, though, so... Yeah. Also, anytime we're sick or we're actually sick, we gotta go get a doctor's note. <laughs> that got <goes> 10 <coughs> months. Doctor's note. I am sorry, okay? I have unlocked the shit voice now. I'm just it cracks constantly. I'm just nudging the geth. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. He's uh. like a long leg Nancy. Oh fuck you just <laughs> motherfucker got shot no. like Bambi's mother. Oh no man, no. Hey Thumper, what's up? Boom. Oh, that was painful. Watch out! Gah. Jesus. See, the Mako is fun now, and then I don't have to worry about limitations. And we can finish these sections way faster. Just like how God intended. Space God. Space Jesus. My favorite. <laughs> I 
Power slide. So much for your roadblock. Wait, what? You're still alive? Poor Geth. So Geth are like slugs, right? We're just gonna call them slugs? Slugamos. Slug boys? Sluggers. I'm not sure about that ER. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Okay. No. No, you don't get to pull this shit on me. You don't. Take cover! You, you I ain't pull none on nobody. You pull you try to pull it on me. You try to pull it on me when I'm all weak and defenseless here. So I can't raise my voice. Yeah, remember when I was weak and defenseless and I was like, entertain me, I'm bored, I can't think straight. Oh, that's just you being bored. No, when I was sick. Remember when I was sick and I was like, I can't play games because I can't think straight and I have nothing to do. And you were like, okay, watch me play Mech Warrior. And I'm like, I can't even follow the menu. All I wanted was to see you leave the art museum. That's it. That's all I wanted. That's all you want. That's all I want. You know that that mission ticket only lasts for so long. Also, now that the music's actually properly playing during the game, it, uh, it sounds like the fucking Kingdom Hearts soundtrack for like Dream Drop Distance when you head to the Tron world. Damn it. Garrus, shoot him. Oh, my bad. Garrus, shoot him with your gun. Oh, hey there, booty. Come on, Garrus, do it. Disfigured. Come on, Garrus, do it. Good job. Looks like your hip is even connected. That's all that. I like snipers in Mass Effect. They're fun. How the fuck did I get it? Motherfucker lived from two criticals, are you kidding me? Quick switch. Rally rally. On me, team. On shields. I don't have a shield. But oh, I... man, look at that. Look at that red gear. They're just chilling there. It's just chilling there like a, a ball bag of beef. My man was moonwalking. Get my back, Garrus. I'm going in. Oh yeah, he'll definitely get back. Beautiful. Form up. Good job, All team. You didn't die this time, Garrus. I am proud of you. You're my favorite. So fucking happy that they did they ever bring these enemies back? Are they in three? I don't think so. They're so cute and adorable. All right. Really, Tally? What the fuck? Damn, Tally. Fucking Christ. Medic. Medic. Oh, wow. You got probably wrecked. I'm gonna press resume. I wanna know what happens when I press resume. Cause last time I did that, it put me back on the Normandy. Okay. Note to self, I think the community mod for the game may have reverted it to, like, the original Mass Effect, maybe? Because mm -hmm. I could have sworn that there were checkpoints in, like, the Legendary Edition. Right? So now, I, when crazy shit's happening, constantly gotta save. But don't worry, we'll, we'll get back to where we were. Yes, sir. Just gotta skip it's all this bullshit. Commander. 
I guess so. Maybe How I... did you... Of course, the only re... I got my officers... Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just do this for two seconds. Talk to whatever characters are going to give me experience. Kind of annoyed that does that. By the way, do I have auto save on? I should. Auto save's going on now. Hi, Rex. Not nothing. Suit yourself. Damn it. <laughs> nice ship. What can I do? Go ask the corp. Well, there was this one. Seems similar. And I suppose it's. I don't expect. The genophage infected us. We're too spread out. We're too spread out. So we leave. If I do this at a Every great timing, moment. you can hear Just Rex make the hottest mixtape of 2023. Shepard. 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 Commander. Shepard. 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 Genophage. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish. If I had been yeah. stillborn, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes? I'm, I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. No offense. I appreciate. If I had been more alert, we, sir, I'll make sure it doesn't. There sir. we go. I just want to kind of overwrite what the fuck I said to her. Because <laughs> I chose the renegade option Thanks by mistake. I knew working with the Spectre would be better. Let's see, Sec, you bet. If I'm, but C-Sec wants it done their way. C-Sec's handling, and without C-Sec head... Whenever he says C-Sec, my, my brain just automatically just goes C-Section. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what it's short for, but still, it's like... You could have named it anything else? What do we call our police, C-Section? Yikes. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her... She's got a real neck. Eventually, there's no... Most vessels rely on... Sensors can pick up our world. My last assignment was on the. She's the best ship I've. Proportionally. So Where else have you seen My last assignment. Carry was on, on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, yes. Tally. Time I'm for me to sorry, skip Commander. everything you have to say to me. So, Don't worry, babe. I'm listening. Especially the part about the population and the multiple children. It's a safeguard that served us. All I'm. Int but one thing we so when you legally have, have to fuck like rabbits. But when they're in close proximity, as you can imagine, this You're the ones who start We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? They're the enemy. They want to just this is for virtually every It's not the See you later. So what about your pilgrimage, Tally? Oh yeah, the moment we hit 18, they just sent us out there into the world by ourselves. They do now, right? Really? So, what you're saying is, you're 18. <laughs> I see. Alrighty, who didn't I talk to? Joker? Come on, Shepard. Hobble yourself over there. You can do it. Commander. Hi, right, Joker. Top of my. Put the norm. You're not. Let's make I fun of how flimsy your anymore. legs are. The norm. I got. A hundred. I can do. All right. See Great. You. That didn't get me anything, but that's cool though. I never have to talk to Joker ever again. Alrighty. They really like to fuck you up now, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this time, Tally was the first one to talk. <laughs> Surprise, bitch. Alright, Tally. They're made of. They're robots, so you're gonna hack them, right? Tally? And turn around, she's fucking face planted on the ground. Face down, ass up. She was, to be fair. The 
Those fucking Gav Stalkers are gonna be a problem, though. Bye, Rex. We'll bring him on the next mission, don't worry. Rexy boy. I need my Rexy boy. Commander, I'm picking up some strange Rex is a snapping turtle. Really strange, like off the damn charts. Even when Looks he's like making he's love, he makes those turtle noises. Away from the drop zone. I thought he had butts. Turn around, damn it. Yay, skip the level. I'm a shield. There we go. I can't ignore them, I need my EXP. Out of the fire! You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. You don't tell me what to do, Joker. Only I tell me what to do. I'm the Commander. See, I did it. Perfect. Time to repair the ship. Need the ship? My bad, the vehicle. Wherever the fuck it's called. The Mako. Well, it could be a ship. I mean, don't you get like a ship in uh, what you call it? What the fuck? Oh, never mind. I was confused for a moment. I was like, what the fuck? Why? I didn't, I didn't, I thought I didn't get no health back or anything. So you saw, you see what I mean when I meant by Tally's voice? Like, what the fuck? What the hell happened? Jump over the missiles. Damn it. Listen, controlling the Mako ain't easy, all right? It takes time. Get the fuck out of my way. Out we go. Start shooting, Garrus. Get him, Garrus. With your sniper. I'll help, too. Come on, Garrus, help me out here. Good job, Garrus. You serious? Where's, uh... Cover, Garrus. You too, Tally. Getting some fucking cover. Do something. <laughs> no. Bad guy. Me. I tried muting it. Yeah, I know. Oh. Thought I heard. <sighs> Give me a minute. Go ahead, take your time, breathe, get a plastic bag, put it over your head. Breathe. No, I gotta go get a fucking tea. 
Oh, you mean the thing I told you to get earlier? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go do that after I fucking get this shit done with. Don't wanna say there's a what shit. I'm doing my dailies. On what, Destiny? Yeah, I'm just getting those done. Ew. Sorry. Did I offend you again? Yeah, in fact, man, it's just, it's just gross. Yeah, good. Alright, I'm gonna go make myself a tea. Alrighty. Where the hell is the Mako? Where the fuck is the Mako? Oh, it's over here. Mako! Paolo! Wait, oh no, it's over here. Fuck. Good thing I got this unlimited sprint. Everyone into the Mako. Out of the way, slug boy. I was trying to jump over the, the fire lake. Kind of fucked it up. Sick fucking dodge. There we go. Kind of blow you up. Come on. And that's how you do that. That's how you take care of those guys. I think that was a save. I'm pretty sure that was an auto save that just happened right there. Pretty sure. I gotta make sure that I don't hold my fucking controller too close to my desk. Because the microphone might be picking up the vibrations from the rumble. The rumble on this controller is like really fucking strong. Beep beep! Come through! There we go. I got Metagel for that? <laughs> Why? Just a quick little, little running over, never hurt nobody. Wait, we're still alive. Alright, almost back to where we left off. That was definitely an autosave. Oh, that's a... Let me switch over to this, and then switch to this, so I have my quick switch. Boom. Oh, shit! Garrus! Get over here! Tally, cover fire! Kill him, Garrus. 
Good job. Beautiful. Oh shit, I didn't mean for you to go there, Tally. Fuck, get some cover. There we go. Damn it, I hit the rock, I'm an idiot. Switch guns. Shotgun for this. Shotgun and sniper. Tally, I want you to stay on your pistol, actually. And Garrus. Assault. Alright, I better get a fucking quick save or some shit. Can I skip this? Nope. Alright team, let's try not to fuck up this time. Alrighty. Team huddle on me. There's a lucky muzzer. It's the what? Tally, can you not get yourself killed? Yeah, no, that's impossible. They called it the lucky monster. Oh, fuck. Down. I hit it. Okay, that one's down. What? Fuck. Yours is dead. <laughs> like always. Get up, Garrus. Fuck. Garrus is dead again. Come on. I should have switched my fucking weapon. Can you, can you not, Telly? Can you not just sit there and die? I thought that was a goal. Oh, well. Now they're both dead. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. But I think all the Geff Stalkers are taken care of, so... Pretty alright. Gotta get that sniper. Now you want to back up. Now I got the shotgun out, you want to back up. Alright. Get rid of that guy. Yeah, he backed all the fuck away up. Alright. Garrus here. Tally, you stay over there, please. Oh, wow. What the fuck just happened? There's where That's where my disruption went. Right in front of me. I 
I didn't say on me, I said fucking... Damn it! You did say on me, though. No, I pressed the... I pressed left on the D-pad, but it counted as fucking... Like I'm pressing it down. Tally, get the hell over there. Not there, Tally. There! Yeah, Bionics do absolutely nothing to it. Shit in its ass. So what, the shotguns don't help against those guys? Yeah, when you gang up on it like that. Shotguns definitely not the way to go with those fucking Geth Stalkers, though. They move way too fast that by the time you deal with the heat sink on that fucking, they're gone. All right. Uh. Garrus, back to your actually you not know assault for you, Tally. And let me run with this. I don't know why Garrus's health is green. I think maybe he has like shield boost on or some dumb shit. I don't know. What are you doing, Garrus? What do you got on? What are you what are you doing? Sabotage recharging? Maybe it's green because he's recharging. Wait, no, she's recharging. What the fuck? Why is your health bar green, Garrus? Excuse me, now it's red. Now that we have the auto save on, I don't have to worry about dying spontaneously. Over there. Shield down. Soft kill deployed. <laughs> whoopsie doopsie. Uh, whoopsie doopsie. Look at that. Beautiful clean save. Caution to the wind. I thought my assault rifle would do more damage than it actually did. That's for me. formed around the ruin after it was built. Now who the fuck asked you? Captain Obvious did. It's almost here. It's almost here. The tea is almost here. Oh, you don't have it yet? It's, um... Do you have a Keurig? Mm hmm? Do you have, like, a Keurig or, like, a coffee maker or something? No. That's how I make my tea. Just get the tea bags, put it in a cup, and get hot water. Oh no, that's how I make my. I put tea bag in in the fucking thing, in the cup, right? So yeah, we'll go get the kettle, but uh. See, I don't even gotta do that. I just put the tea bag in cup, then I get the Keurig out, and instead of putting, you know, just put nothing on top of it, and then hot water just comes out. I wonder what that's how I make my tea. What kind of tea you got? Don't say any basic big shit. I'll kill you. I just grabbed whatever I had, so I didn't even look. Oh my god. It's gonna be a mixture of something, because I grabbed two. Oh, that's not gonna be good. And probably not, but it's gonna do something. One of them's gonna have like a mean ass after this. Probably. Hello? Could somebody help me? No. Please. You stay there. Hi, Liara. Can you hear me? Out she there? likes PlayStation so I much that she made her skin blue. Dabu di babu die. 
Liara to Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. I'm not on anyone's side, so what you're saying is you might be my enemy. Hmm, I see. There's some it's kind of you're vulnerable or you're not vulnerable, so it's ooh, what's he gonna be? Alright, maybe maybe we shouldn't death. open with that. Do do I need to do we need to go to HR department and have a little chat with Rex? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll find some way to help down. There is a control in Just here so that should deactivate coffee. this thing. Mm -hmm. You'll have to find some way past the barrier. Too bad you have to speak up part. for the commentary. The cannot be shut off from uh, the outside. No, I don't have I don't to. Know how you get in here. I just have to whisper loudly. Be careful. What is actually working? With the geth. So you know what? I'm trying different ways to get I, past the barrier. My name is Basil. I whisper loudly. You have like I a, don't have a choice. You have like a really shitty whisper. Oh, fuck you too. See now I, I, I pressed down on see I pressed down on the D pad that time, but instead it fucking did the other thing. Weird. I'm having Borderlands flashbacks. Who would have thought sniping can be so fun? Push him to the ground. Up, oh, up, oh, okay. Really? I missed? Man, the cursor on this shit when you're aiming at the hip is terrible. Oh, wait, I think there's items over here. Weapons locker. Weren't you telling me about how your job went? What what happened with that? Um, well, I tried, but you know, with my voice being so fucked and not being able to drink my tea yet, I kind of can't tell you anything about it. So until I drink my tea. Okay, well, how did your voice get like this to begin with? I don't know. I literally went to work on Saturday, mm -hmm. and then I felt like shit afterwards so i slept through most of the day after that you don't know or you refuse to tell me yeah so after that i just kind of like it's kind of kind of kind of suspicious that you were fine yesterday and now it's all different i'm huh? just saying you know I mean, what maybe you if i was flying maybe you I'd were be in maybe you became a little jeff keely huh if i became I don't think we'd be having this conversation. Oh. Why wow, you still you be on your knees? I didn't think there was Probably. any way past the barrier. Jesus. We blasted through hey, with the you mine. know what you were doing when you started this. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. You're terrible to make plans with, you know that? You okay, Liara? Hit the ground pretty hard there. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? 
Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... Her eyeballs are what so fucking that? shiny. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered... She can be an ad for events. fucking LASIK. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Shoot your eyeballs with some lasers. That's how it works. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA. I love how he calls him mister. On the double, mister. to move faster. <laughs> we need to... <laughs> we need to move faster. and we all just stand here? I like my standing position. Hey, Tally. All right, Garrus, calm down. <laughs> the way he walks up in there. He knows is what he's getting. Surrender. He knows what he's getting. Or don't. That would be more fun. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! Kill him. <sighs> I like your attitude. Of course you do. First game. Okay, Liara's back there doing absolutely fucking nothing. Fuck was that noise? Shit was loud as fuck. Where'd the Krogan go? Come on, I missed my melee, are you kidding me? Wow, Tally, thanks for being dead. What the hell was that? What the fuck just happened? No, I think a fucking bug just landed on me or some shit. I don't know if I'm bugging out or something. Pun unintended. I'm not sure if I'm bugging out or some shit. That was intended. That was so intended. No, it wasn't. Fucking, it's my ghetto-ness coming out. Okay. <laughs> Cause I'm sitting there playing the game and it felt like something slapped against my arm and then I looked at my arm and I was like, I don't see nothing. And I looked down at my shirt and I'm not sure if it was the lighting in my room or something, but I could have sworn I saw something on my shirt. But whatever it is, it's not here no more. Fuck. Cue the PTSD music. I'm fine. It didn't really scare me. I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is that? Back to the game and back to me dying because I just fucking left myself open. I don't even know where the Krogan's at. I think I got myself like a mint lemonade mix. Well, you got peppermint? Yeah, I like a peppermint. I like a lemonade mix. Oh, there's the Krogan. God. Oh god, he's coming after me. Oh hey, remember that shotgun idea we had? Oh, it's fine, we got three of us, one of him. Oh my god, Garrus again. Yeah. Remember you saying three of us. Remember that. Remember hey. saying three of us, they're both dead. They're both dead. Shut up. You're about to be dead. Damn it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have done better if I didn't- Oh fuck, that was my fault. What the hell, Garrus? Oh, he got- 
because the Krogan's a fucking vanguard, so they have bionics, and I forgot that a uh, push in this game is literally just make your enemies ragdoll. Rex, help me out here, buddy. Ow, what the fuck? The hell blew up. Rex, start shooting. Not Rex, what the fuck is your name? Garrus, <laughs> start shooting. I got him on your mind. Keep talking to me about Rex, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. We're gonna hit the Vermeyer right now. Grenade, fuck. There we go. You dead now? Yep. Thanks for the help, Liara. Yeah? Good job. See, we're doing fine. Don't get hit by the rocks. I'm the only one that ran- okay. How am I the last one that's behind them when I was the only one that ran out two seconds ago? What? Yeah, it's almost like your unlimited sprint is not limiting. Just for that, we're not bringing Rex to the next mission. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The what do you mean, we? equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future Fuck reference. Your sass. We almost hey Joker, why don't you get up and walk over here and say it to my- Oh wait, you can't. Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species. Yeah, I can give you some experience. What's up? I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. <laughs> You're wasting your time. 50 years. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a so long time to a she's 16. species like yours. But among yeah, the actually, she is 16. More than a child. <laughs> that is why my research has not received the attention. Of so, uh, the fact that you can romance her in this fucking game is a little. Dismiss my theories. <laughs> Just think about it. Just don't think about it. Yeah, in a sorry years, she's not fully an adult yet. Right. Clam trapping. Oh, Jesus, trapping. Trap anything up. interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if I mean, someone did not want the mystery. To be fair, the Asari's whole like race is based on fucking after other the species. Were gone and cleansed the mm -hmm. galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Mm. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. She goes, just trust me, Shepard. difficult to explain to someone else. What's my I sources? Just trust me, bro. thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. The cycle? What cycle? What are you talking about? The I'm tired of the, the cycle, cycle, Sonic! What? What's the cycle? Rises up. 
It is suddenly and violently cast down. <laughs> I love that video so much. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire now, Amy, the entire galaxy. Don't do anything that anyone's going to regret. The top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays. Ever watch that? Are By Dumas Gumbus? I think so. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated Jesus, Tails usually ask me questions life. about if if Matt Pat's a liar or not. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. What do we say about Matt Pat? The, Everything Matt Pat says is but a I lie. Never heard Good. Of. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Burns a vision in your brain and the vision shows up and it's like, what are you doing, step bro? Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. Are you really watching porn all by yourself? No, I'm with the science team. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I oh, am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. Are you calling me stupid, Liara? Destroyed by the process. Yes. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. She's like, okay, man, you're fucking, your feeble order. brain. Of course, you're. I'm right. surprised you I'm didn't sorry, explode. My scientific curiosity got the better of me. Hey, Unfortunately, if I, was I do to not explode, have any information that could help you find the conduit I'm glad I didn't. or Saren. I just added interest in me. Hmm. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my I can't think of anywhere safer but within your arms. Whoa. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Great! Another alien! <laughs> <laughs> We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I'm feeling that porn moan, Jesus. When was the last time you ate or slept? Whoa, Doctor Chalkwash. My head. I feel so lightheaded. Maybe I should lay down. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate, I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, I'm at the that attire that you're wearing. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. Sorry, what did you say? You want me to patch you through to the council? Oh, she can rethink her, um, attire when she's addressing you. Her attire? Wait, what? Clothes, motherfucker. Her clothes. Okay, I wasn't sure if that's what you meant to say or not. Fuck the council. Hey, don't bother. Aye, aye, sir. I ain't gonna listen to the council. Not yet. Alrighty. Let's go talk to the team. See what they got to say about some things. I also gotta level up. Oh, I got 12 points. Fuck. Spectre training. All the way up. Charm would do some good. For what? Charming people. That's what Intimidate's for. I can't level up Charm more than I have already unless I'm upping Paragon. Do we have to go back to the rape hallway? That's what Renegade's for. What? Up my barrier. Um, restore, pressure hall devices, increase shield capacity, that'd be nice. I'm happy. First aid would do good too. And I'm good. What matters is I can survive. Off your save games. What? Off the save games. Auto save. Is not kicking in just yet. I don't say.
Hi, Garrus. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big My God, Gara, speak up. Why the fuck you whispering? He's not impressed that you're going after Sarek? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. I love how uh, just like the Turians kind of have like Batman eyes. Me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same they got that mascara all over it. You were asked you know, they just come around the corner going, I'm well, Batman. Well, targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. We're Spider-Man. I'm the wizard. My father didn't like <laughs> He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone It's me, the chameleon. With no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. No offense. I see. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't... Now hold up, Garrus. Said I'm, go said I'm going after Saren. I said I know I'm about nailing him. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop We'll beat like him off, Garrus, together right, as a team. Alright. How do I level you fucks up? Can I level you up through here? No, I can only do it when we're in a Commander, team together. You have a minute to talk. Of course, I keep an open door policy. Look into my eyeballs. You can trust me. All right. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Ooh. the Carrion and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Uh. Well, honestly, what the fuck do you mean? Because the ship was built by Turians. Because they may aliens. not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. I got I gotta play it safe with Ashley. In the Alliance Navy. I can't be too I can't be too pissy towards her, you know. Engines, sensors, weapons. We can save that for Mass Effect 2 and 3. Uh let's see. You don't trust the aliens, you space racist. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Of course they will. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> the council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's all right. not racism, all right. not really. All right, Ashley. All right. All, all right. all right. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Calm down. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Hmm. Just shut up. <laughs> you just have to work with them. You yeah. just have to work with them. I gotta be oh, nice to her. Listen. see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. <laughs> but this is a multilateral mission. We, You're going to have wait to Mass Effect 2 and 3. Like not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. What about me? What about me? <laughs> yeah. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. I'm a specter, you moron. What's your opinion? I work outside the law. You can't you throw me down, bitch. Sony's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? 
I believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies. Listen, Ashley. The reason I'm saying you can't be racist to Liara is because her own kind is racist to her. Because she's a pureblood. And they don't like that. I'm sorry, you got fucked after the fucking space community. We'll talk later. The fuck? Looking forward to it, sir. Oh, what? You don't know that her own kind doesn't like her? No, I know that. I uh. know that. So, we've got Saren on the run. Yes, we do. It yes, won't be long do. now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. Hardcore. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. <laughs> he went in the corner and started masturbating. But he he was really him. weird. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really Have you ever seen a Tori masturbate time. before, Shepard? So Their eyes go crossway like a chameleon. Didn't wait to get paid. Whose ship was it? It was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. God damn. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Alright, Tally, how are those bullet wounds coming up? You good? Oh, hello, Shepard. Aw, you sound down. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel... Out of place. It's almost like everyone's staring at me, Shepard. I don't so know why. It feels like we're not even moving. The thickest the alien on the ship. So quiet. How do you sleep at night? Hmm. It's too quiet. The silence sleep. wakes you up. Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. Want me to get you like a sleep machine, noise maker? But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Aww. Sounds like the pilgrimage isn't just about finding resources for the fleet. Maybe it's about teaching you to appreciate your people and culture. You're probably right. We Quarians spend our whole lives traveling. I like the way she really said the word Quarian. I don't know why. The pilgrimage Sound has great. given me a whole new perspective on our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. 
Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. She is not allowed to commit suicide. I should go. I know she's not allowed. I, well, later. honestly, I can't help that because I never played three. So I don't know what the choices are. Yeah, well, don't let her fucking die. I'll try my best. But if something ha- Well, first she has to survive the fucking suicide mission in two. Don't Just forget it. Pay the don't, extra money. don't forget about- Pay the extra money? What the fuck are you talking about? For the engine. No, you need- Wait, what? Talking about in two? Hello? I oh, my fucking throat. There's a mission. Where it literally tests the fucking uh, the entire Normandy to the point where it could break. Isn't that in and three? I I don't remember if it's in two or three. Because in two, for them not to die, you uh, I think you just need to do their loyalty missions and not fuck it up. Her loyalty mission is easy. Just don't fucking call her out in front of the in front of the migrant fleet. Her loyalty mission is fucking, you play Ace Attorney. OBJECTION! Alrighty. Actually, how much money do I have? How many credits? How do I check that? Is it in, is my equipment? 23,000? Oh, damn. Do I have any better armor? I'm trying to sort it to where it makes sense. Alrighty. Hi. Uh, oh. Hello. Experience. Oh, I am gonna take a quick break. See, so I gotta use bathroom. So I will be right back. What the fuck's happening in the Discord? What is that, a lettuce? Is that a head of lettuce? Is that what he put in the chat? I'm sorry, I need to take a look at that. <laughs> well, I'll be right back.
Hey, we're back. Hello. Chicken. Chicken? Yes. That's... That's nice to know. <laughs> what happened? Yikes. You fucked with your audio. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Uh oh. For some reason, it's quieter now. Um, I can hear your AC thing going. My audio got quieter. Can you hear me still? Yeah, I can still hear you clearly. All right, just. It sounds like you just switched your mic option settings. Wait, so I sound different now? Yeah. Um. You know uh. that you see you talked about. Oh, you can hear it now? On. Yeah, I can hear that. Ugh. All right, give me a second. Fuck. Okay, how many uh, headset things do you got? How many headset things? What are you talking about? This is just the one wire. I gotta get a new one. Well, I mean, I already have other ones, but I'm just too lazy to switch them out. Because this one's like the longest one I have. Yeah, I understand that being a little bit. Alright, give me a little bit. Give me a quick second. Quick second to troubleshoot everything again. Ah. I guess I'll just melt in my room now. Do I sound different, or is it... Or was it just, like, the gain? Um, no, you sound actually a little bit better now. Better than before? Well, you're a lot clearer, and, like, before I'd have to switch your audio. Oh, uh -huh. that's weird, that's weird. Let me like, just... did you turn anything off, or hit something? Let me keep no, that. it just... The, like, the... Wire just moved. Yeah, I definitely gotta switch out. I'll switch out the wire after after the stream, cause fucking uh, <laughs> shit's starting to get on my nerves. Honestly, every single fucking time. All right, back to Mass Effect. We gotta look around. What's the point of scavenging the fucking planet to Mass Effect One? You get money? Is that it? I think so. I think it's two where they start giving you materials and shit. Yeah, I know two. You gotta like probe them. They found a way. So you true probing. <laughs> they found a way to use probe. I don't see any. Come here, probie. I don't see Come any twinkles out there. No twinkles, so no deposits in the area. Gas deposit. Oh, hold up. Found one. It's a rich asteroid. Let me just take a- oh no, twinkle here. There we go. Alright, so that area should be fine. We should have to never come back to... No server the fuck? I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. Message coming in. Patching it through. Okay. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Lady, I am not going to be in the Citadel for a long-ass time. I'll, like, head to the Citadel before we go to Vermeer. Just so Rex can breathe clean air one last time. <laughs> Just get him out there. Constantly just like threatening Rex, like, I will kill you one day. Why do you have to do my boy like that? I don't worry, Why? he'll he'll be fine. I mean it depends on him. We could royally fuck it up. No, don't fuck him up. Hey, it wouldn't be intentional, alright? So with you it's always intentional. Mm, you sure about that? Yes. Maybe he would maybe he just didn't want to cooperate. Happy boy, ready for murder. I don't know, I'll be honest, I think I prefer Grunt. <sighs> Grunt's adorable. Come on, Grunt's way more adorable than Rex, you know it. 
He's a cute little turtle. He's a cute little turtle man. I'm not about to fight this. And then you gotta, Shit. and then you gotta help him with his puberty. He's my son. <laughs> I have a meme for this. I'll find it in a second. Oh shit, I didn't mean to leave the map. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Uh, I do not want a pomegranate. You say you don't want a pomegranate? What? Yeah, I got like a... <laughs> I got a tea bag full of tea. And it's all random packs of tea. Yeah? So there's a pomegranate and raspberry green tea. I got a Lake English breakfast tea. Huh? The uh, black tea of multi boldness and bright flavor and big any time of day. Um, uh, got jasmine for some fucking reason. Stop digging in your bed. It's not gonna go anywhere, moron. Yeah, it's gonna go into his dream. <laughs> My dog always digging in his bed. Them shits are expensive. The type of teas I got in my room is, uh, what do I got? In your room? Why are they in your room? Because they sit right next to my, I mean, I have a mini fridge in my room and a fucking, in a, uh, in an air fryer. Like, come on, man. I'm cooking out here. Let me cook, all right? All right, let's try this. But my tea sits, my tea sits yeah. right next to my manga collection because sometimes you gotta have, sometimes you gotta, you know, sip some tea while you're reading a book. Nice and cozy, right? It's nice and tedious. It's tedious to read? Yes. Hmm. Left to right, left to right, right to left, right to Sorry, right. I was just... I so, mean, we're not heading over here. Sense. That's This is the Burn Down the Sky DLC and Pinnacle Station modded that back in. Why not? Burn everything. Kill everybody. Uh, it's the ones where you meet the fucking Batarians for the first time. You know, the race in Mass Effect that's always evil. <laughs> Why not? Every fucking time you see a Batarian, just shoot that bitch on sight. It's really funny because by the time they reach Mass Effect 3, they're like, oh, we realized that we made every Batarian you walk into, like, evil as hell. Message coming in. Patching it through. And then they tried to run it back, Morning, but they didn't even do a good job at it. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data. Model. Excuse me, sir. I don't need to do shit. You can ask me to do it. I'm a specter. I take no orders. Survey this land. Grab some fancy shit. There's no asteroid belts in here. They metal surveyed. I like that they give you a lot of information about these fucking planets. You don't need it, but you know, it's fun to have. Oh, hey. Yeah, so it's for the people that really love the lore. This is, well, the lore is great, honestly. That's what I mean. They did it for the people that love the lore. Is this the planet that's kind of like Earth? Uh, what's it called? I'm not at my computer right now. Uh, Elatinia? Or whatever the fuck? I mean, it looks like Earth. I know there's a planet where, like, the, uh... Where the, um... What you call it? The text on it, it's like, it's very similar to Earth, but it's not Earth. And it's like... One year on it is like what ten years in our fucking time or some shit. Mm. All right, Rex, you get to join us, but you get to hang out with Ashley. No. <laughs> the renegade and the space racist. Don't fuck my fucking spacey boy with the racist. Hey. He's gonna shoot him at home. I plan on putting my penis inside that racist. Okay. You fucking racist, fucking racist. I feel like that's what, like, every Instagram couple is. It's just, like, someone going, I'm gonna put my penis in a racist. Oops. I remember watching, uh... Not watching, my bad. I remember, uh, my mom or sister, one of them, they were watching, like, America's fucking Top Idol or whatever the fuck. Right? And, like, one of the candidates on there was, uh was like some white girl from the south or whatever 
and she's like and she she's in the car with the rest of the candidates she's like yeah i don't believe that black people could be beautiful or anything like that <laughs> and then she's like i don't i don't believe in gays or anything like that and she's like super conservative shit and i'm like what are you doing here on this show and like she's saying this inside the car with like latinas and fucking black women and i'm like what the hell <laughs> i'm like the guts you got to just be saying shit like this this is the surveillance drone oh hey, the we're gonna do this. oh it's the what are these things called piax or some shit yes we're doing this the hard way what are you doing what are you doing what do you think you're doing i'm watching my rexy boy figure stuff out you're watching it through twitch oh i got twitch to my left and i got the uh, stream to my right oh what the fuck I oh, don't know, it might be a slow night. Sometimes you get those slow nights. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Well, that night is, uh, you not saying anything to anybody. No, sometimes I'll put, like, announcements out and it's still a slow night. Mm. But I think it's mostly due to the fact that most people who do, like, come early probably are still used to the fact that, uh, that my stream time starts at, like, fucking 2 o'clock and, like, a.m. for me. So for them, it would be like, uh, for some of them, it would be like 11 at night or whatever. And like, what is it right now? Like 11 o'clock or something? It is 7 for me. 7 for you, so. 7.52, exactly. Yeah, it's like 10 for me. So like most of the regulars fucking wouldn't even show up by now. <laughs> it's fine, though. I can just stream longer. I got no problem doing that. I have more time to play now. And now I have time to actually record playthroughs. Started picking up the Pokemon again and fucking I'm like, I gotta finish Gen 2. Cause I stopped after the Elite Four and cause fucking dude, the old Pokemon games give you burnout like it ain't nothing real, like holy shit. Oh, it's a little monkey boys. You ever watch the Uber hacks on Rover on the YouTube? And his intro was one of these things taking a shit? No. Yeah. Hey, general. The monkey doesn't have the module. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, monkeys. Nice shot. <laughs> I would just a rocket. Whoa! Hey, you chose the space race. This is the fucking person. See, I thought Ashley would be the voice. Well, then. Renegade the fuck out of- okay, well you can't level up your Renegade by just keep doing it. You just get one for knocking one out. That's cool though. And Rex is like, nice job. <laughs> Good job. You know you can shoot it with a cannon. You know what, there are a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. You know, them space monkeys. I don't I'm think. Not wrong. I, I'm not wrong. Do I want to like question what's going on right now? <laughs> you're just taking it the wrong way. Am I? Well, you're flying, so. Yeah, but I can't really control myself in midair. All I do, all I remember is that when I fucking 100 person in this game like long ago. Driving around this planet was a pain in the ass. Like, I mean, gravity barely affects you most of the time, but this shit was, like, really annoying. And since you had limited boost, you would just constantly get stuck in these rigids and shit. But now that I have unlimited boost, it should be way easier. Get up there. Come on, boost your way up there. You got it. Come on. Come on, gravity means nothing. Damn it. <laughs> you just fucked yourself. Uh, now I did that on purpose so I can just, so I don't like slide all the fuck the way down. You need to find stable ground or at least angle. Oh no, trust me. You can get to the, you can get up there. 
<laughs> I did it before. Oh, uh, I thought this was a monkey colony. That's why I was coming towards it. That's mission. Right? It says monkey colony. What the fuck? Do I not enter this area? Looks like I can go inside. Yep, ran over the monkey. Now don't question what I just did because I pressed the wrong button. Oh, you... <laughs> I thought the game kicked you because you killed a monkey. Like, what the fuck? Nah, that's like Assassin's Creed. Ezio didn't kill innocents. Fine, I'll just run around punching them. been a while since I played Mass Effect 1, alright? So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, let me, let me remember what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, this won't be too bad, we just go through the, uh, the ridge over here. Isn't this fun going through an empty field with, with no music? It's the ambiance. It's almost like Breath of the Wild, am I right? Running through an empty field with no music? It feels like an actual exploration. You know, having your stamina bar die every two seconds? Yeah. 10 out of 10, game of the year. It almost got me again. I really hope that I don't have to, like, search each monkey individually. says monkey doesn't have the module. Let me just make sure I'm doing this fucking right. Which mission is this? Metals. Solarian tag. Weak medallions. For what? Turian emblems. Asari writings. Modules. Okay, what the fuck do I gotta do? Alien creature has run off with the data module, track down the alien and recover. Wait, so do I have to like look at each and every one of these fucks? I think I do. Why'd you take your gun out, Shepard? What the fuck? Oh, I think I actually have to look at each monkey individually. You know what? If that's the case. The cursor icon goes on. Yeah. If that's the case, all you fuckers are dying. So I can make sure that uh but is your be in that building area wouldn't it be probably but you know what fucking i just want to make sure that when i come back to the area i don't have to i can you know be like oh i chucked that monkey out already <laughs> the game did come out in like what 2006 2008 what oh oh right poison Yeah, you're in a toxic environment. Yeah, but it didn't, like, level up, fucking, and I just instantly, like, like, lost health. Alrighty. I think this is a deposit up here. Come on, dude. Let me out the fucking Mako. Ah! Hey. 
intact. Get, get back in the... Ready. Shut up, Ashley. Back in the Mako. Thank you. Is that my destination? We gonna be going over there. See if I can cut through the mountain. Seems to be working pretty fun. Oh, come on. Just like Tony Hawk would have done. Ride it like it's a fucking half pipe. survey it while I'm in the fucking Mako. Bullshit. I gotta hack this rock. Yeah, I found that funny. It's like, every time you go to a rock, it's like, I must pull over the keypad, plug it in, and fucking go away. Do some nerd shit. down that way because I'm afraid of getting stuck. You know what? Fuck it. You fly. <sighs> Thanks. I can fly, but I can't control it. Hey, I said you could fly. Not well. All you need is some fate, trust, and pixie dust. Come on, Mako, you got it. It's not flying, it's falling with style. Oh, well, that's a gorge that I'm gonna get stuck in. Come on, Mako, you can make it. Yeah. Oh, come on, you're fucking. Come on, how many wheels do we got? You're telling me this baby ain't fucking six wheel drive? Come on, Mako, get up there. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I made it. It's a freaky orb. It's a Prothean ruin. Damn it. Examine the strange Prothean artifact feels a small irregular shaped slot of the uh on the underside. Looks as if someone would What? Looks like if someone would fit in some kind of oddly shaped key or trinket. Really hope I don't need that from uh from the consort. I don't think I need to actually do anything with those ruins. Do you do anything with those ruins? Hmm? With the Prothean ruins? Do you do anything with those? I don't remember. It's been too long since I actually did anything with it. I think I think it's just there, right? It's just there for like lore or some shit. Experience, maybe. It's like fucking Trials Evolution. Or Happy Wheels. Remember when every YouTuber played Happy Wheels? No, I don't. 
don't need that. I don't need that returning, okay? Yeah, you sure? I don't need that flashback. I don't need See, that. See, I was one of those kids that didn't watch it, so it don't bother me. No, like, I would go on to YouTube at school or fucking... At the end of the hey, man, what's happening? It's pretty pie! we go play some Heavy yeah. Wheels! There'd be nothing else good on. And then I'm gonna say the N-word. And then I saw those shits and was like, okay, I'll give them a shot. It's me, the Rad Brad. Welcome. <laughs> you know, my first first time I'll sell out to you and <laughs> play Happy Wheels. See, I only watched him play Dead Space and that's what got me into I watched Dead him play Dead Space, a bit of Skyrim, fucking uh, Dead Rising, right? You know, the games that he actually liked before he became a fucking sellout. Someone who hasn't become a sellout, though, stuck to their guns all these years, Chuck a Conroy. That man definitely deserves more clout than he gets. He 100%s every game he does like a playthrough of. Oh, speaking of fucking, like, YouTubers, I used to watch these YouTubers called, uh, the Super Gaming Brothers or whatever. I usually hate YouTubers with fucking gaming in their title. It's just, it gives me a headache. Right, but um, but these guys were cool. They were around for like, they were around for a bit, right? Mm. And then one of them, uh, one of them does like a review channel, whatever. Some call me Johnny, and then the other one's his brother. And he, I think he had like his own channel or whatever for like creepypasta shit or something. But fucking, I don't, I don't think he really did anything with it. And then, uh, when COVID was starting, they couldn't, like, really meet up that much anymore, and fucking, like, uh, one of them was moving away to a different state. So, fucking, they had to break up, right? And I was like, oh, no. Mm. Two days ago. I still stayed subscribed to the channel. Two days ago, I look at my homepage, and it's like, Super Gaming Brothers, fucking, new video. <laughs> Mario Party on the Switch, and I'm like, huh? It's like an hour long, and it just says, we're back. And I'm like, damn. Oh, fuck. So great. That, that's one of the greatest things you've ever So seen. fucking good. I mean, like, you know, some call me Johnny River. He was still doing shit. You know, I watch his reviews and stuff like that. He's uh, the guy that does... He's one of the uh, content creators that also, like, streams, like, the Sonic hacking contest every year. So you get to see a lot of fun fucking... Uh, ROM hacks and like mods and stuff on uh, the Sonic games on PC. Some of them are really cool. Some of them are like major overhauls. Other of them are just like joke mods. That's like really fucking goofy. And it's always a good time. Always a good time. But I was like, oh, they're back. I don't think they're going to continue their playthroughs they were doing at the time they left, though. They were doing uh, Saints Row 2, uh, Spider-Man 2 on the PS2, and then, um, actually, I think they might have been doing it on Xbox. I don't, know, I don't know, either PS2 or Xbox, one or the other. No, it was on PS2, right? Was Spider-Man 2 on the Xbox as well? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, it was just PS2, right? Yeah. Okay. But, like, the Spider-Man, the movie, the game was on Xbox. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was on there. Yeah, they were doing that. Um, and I think they were also doing Final Fantasy VII Original. I think that was the three playthroughs they were doing before they fucking left or whatever. I'm not sure if they'll finish it, though. They were fun playthroughs. Did I check this monkey? Ugh. This is a fun mission. <laughs> no, the monkey doesn't have a fucking module. Is that all the monkeys? Start nuking this fucking place. I'm so happy that this mod just tells me all the points of interest on here, because imagine if I had to do this shit without it be here for hours. Yes. You know what? I'm just gonna take the lame way. I 
think this would just be faster if I do it this way. So happy that the vehicle they have in Andromeda, they fixed the shit out of it. Because that vehicle in Andromeda is actually fun to pilot around. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, it's really good. Andromeda is a broken fucking piece of mess, but like... But like, the gameplay systems in that game are probably the best, honestly. It's just that, like, everything else around it is bad. I threw a grenade, I don't know where it went. I might blow up a monkey, I'm not sure. Don't you run from me. Oh, there's the grenade. Doesn't have the module, fuck. My melee was missing. Made me angry. How am I missing my melee? There we go. Can I sick Rex on one of these monkeys? Come down. Come down, Shepard, alright? Come down a little bit. We'll head back to the Mako. You can breathe now, Shepard. You can breathe. Shut up, Rex. I'm gonna be really mad because I'm gonna fucking walk in here. There's gonna be a room full of monkeys, and one of them is gonna have. Yup. You bitches. I'm killing each and every one of you. <laughs> There's a lot of waist-high cover in there. Rex, go check it out. Get in there, Ashley. I said get in there, Ashley. Hmm. Alright, surprised I didn't get shot at yet. When you fuckers have the module. What's behind door number two? You okay over there, Basil? Catching your breath? Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just trying not to fucking die every time I say something. He dropped the data module. Oh it's my god, shoot him. Still intact. Joker can transmit the into Alliance command. Yeah, you did the thing. Alright. You two take point. We're gonna be shot by by uh I was about to call them Reapers. Something's gonna try and kill us. You two go in there. Oh, there it is. There's the red. Uh oh. How do I, uh... Let me see. Map barrier? I guess that... Uh, what is it mapped to? Can't be mapped to my grenade button, right? Good. No. 
it's not. I don't know. Are they mapped to triggers? No. What the fuck? What is it mapped to? Oh, I switch. Switch to my sniper. Ah! Well, they both died. Oh my god! You're gonna die. They went hog on you. Yeah, so what about Rex now? Um, I'm pretty sure I actually died first. Mm. You did, and then the Rexy boy. No, Rex definitely died before me. Are you can are you fucking kidding me? Tell me I gotta survey all this other shit. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll do it off screen, fuck you. Where's the stupid monkey colony? Actually. Let's see. Your Krogan bullshit. Unlock heavy armor for you. These guys are really fucking mean. What the gif? No, I just like every enemy in the fucking in, in the mod. I think the community patch fucking like just up their difficulty because they're way more aggressive than they ever were. What if I take off my helmet? Alright. You too. Actually, I want your shotgun out me. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna use pistol. I'll do all the mineral collecting and bullshit off stream. He dropped the data module. It's a miracle. He dropped the data module. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. Get in there, Rex. Get in there, Ash. Do some damage, you two. I, your fearless leader, will be over here. Behind the both of you. <laughs> I love the melee. Oh, hey, he looked at you. You said, what the fuck? Is that a pea shooter? Thanks for your help, Rex. Can 
wait for my shield to come back. Or I can just use my barrier. Get your asses over here, two of you. Come on. Double time. Rex, stop getting stuck. What the fuck? What are you shooting at, Rex? I did it. I saved the world. We got the module, so we just leave now? Is that what we do? Maybe. Yep, we just leave now. Alright, well, bye planet. Oh, fuck Christ. Can you do a quick search for me and tell me what the fuck does the, uh... Does the, um... Special abilities map to? Cause I set I set it to map on one of these fucking things. I just don't know what button it is. Is it like Damn, I don't even know what the fuck it would be. Do I gotta like aim and press a button or something? That's so why I'm asking you to look it up. Wait, <laughs> you want me to do something? Yes! <laughs> okay, what am I looking up? What the fuck does this does the abilities map to? Mass effect one abilities mapping. How do you map abilities in Mass Effect One? Okay, so this is a thing to explore some Prothean ruins. Okay. Okay, press and hold the right bumper to bring up the power wheel. Yeah. Use the left thumbstick to select the desired ability slash talent. Press mm -hmm. the X button to map to your hotkey, and then release the right bumper. Okay, but on controller, what does it map to, though? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is controller. It says for control. Wait, what? Then why does it say hockey? Press and hold the right bumper, that's a controller, to the power wheel. Use the left thumbstick, the thumbstick, the left one you move with. Yes. And then you select the desired ability. Then you press X to map it to your hockey and release the right bumper. Uh, once the desired ability talent is mapped, Tap the right bumper to activate it in real time. Cooldown times will still apply, but if they Oh, it's tap. It, okay, thanks. Yeah. Press it to map to your hotkey. What the fuck? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, cooldown times will still apply, but if the ability talent isn't on cooldown, then tapping the right bumper will activate it without the need for you to reselect it from the power wheel. Huh? Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's head back into the, to the Normandy real quick. I'm taking Tally and Liara with me on this one because we're dealing with some Prothean bullshit. That was a long loading screen. What the fuck? Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. How oh, Presley, I can't wait till you die. What was that, Commander? Nothing. You keep just doing you, Presley. I 
I've still been rocking some weak ass weapons. So, like, gotta start spending some money. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? I what am. You got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. Whatever you want. It's not standard a fun Friday night? Issue, but that's not well, uh, you look like you can get hell, out of that pretty damn quickly. Set me back more than I'd like. Let's see what you've you got. Bet, Commander. Alrighty. Oops. Okay. Let's see. What weapons am I going to grab for myself? I actually want a sniper rifle. These things are expensive as fuck. Can I, like... Compare. There we go. Light Armor Scorpion 3. Do me a favor. What, uh... Look up the, uh... Items. Max Pack 1, because I... Didn't... Armor. Yeah. Because I know there's, like, um... There's basically, like, the, like, Ultima weapons. Like, they're in fucking Final Fantasy. Basically, Mass Effect 1 has those, too. So, what am I searching? Mass Effect 1, uh... Mass Effect 1 best gear or some shit. I don't know, something like that. Oh, we're going that low, huh? Yeah, if I, I remember Scorpion. I think Scorpion might have been one of the better ones. Um, wow, this is updated... 2022. Yeah, dude. I mean, didn't isn't yeah the easiest way to buy the gear is to get it from the Alliance requisition officer aboard on the normal. Yeah, you buy them the licenses. Uh, the weapons are HM Wax uh, assault rifle. It does 384 damage, accuracy 77, and shots before overheating is 77.3. Uh, HM uh, WSG X shotgun. It's a little bit lacking in damage of the previous one, but accuracy rating is. Oh, what? Number seven? <laughs> um, yeah, that's way above my pay grade. Uh, no. Um, that the last one has an X on it. Oh, it's 10. Oh, yeah, they do go up to 10. Fuck. All right, never mind. Let me not. All right, cool. I got an idea now. I got an idea for it now. Basically, all the best ones have 10 on it, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, And okay. most of them are marked uh, HMWP or WS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HMW. This is mass marked. Okay, all right. Um, And for the armor types is all Colossus 10. Yeah, all Colossus 10, yeah. Because I remember I remember one of the harder ones is to get uh, for Rex. Like, the fucking appear rate on that is a pain in the ass. Yeah, uh... If you want tech of bionic protection and damage protection between light and heavy, it goes 65-38 for light. Uh, medium is 71-28. And heavy is seventy nine eighteen. Fuck. That's the name of them. Uh, for damage protection was the first one, and then uh, tech bionic protection. This is just the weight class. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I have access to any of that bullshit, but I just need something to fucking like not let me die right now. <laughs> uh, by the theme of things, just go for medium armor because that will both give you decent tech and biotech uh, protection. And damage protection. I'm sorry. This is not much of a jump between medium I'm, and heavy, but it's a huge jump between light and uh, medium. Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, let's call it, I'm a sentry, so I can only wear light armor. Oh. Yeah, you just want to look for Colossus shit. Yeah, okay. And that won't be for a while, so right now, I guess Scorpion Light's going to be the best that I can get. Uh, apparently Tali can have her best moments with an Omni tool. Uh, HMOTX 10. Uh, shield bonus is 15. Tech cooldown bonus is 30. Medical recharge bonus is 15. Okay. Alright. So I have an idea what to work towards now. Alright, cool. I'm gonna grab this sniper rifle, I'm gonna grab this pistol, and then I'm gonna grab... 
Can I grab both these shotguns? Probably, maybe. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, I can buy one or the other, so we're getting storm four. Duh. All right. Well, uh, guess I'm gonna be the sniper for this mission. Loadout. What is Liara's weapons? What's her best weapons? Is it like assault? Let me zero that up too. No, not. I'm just trying to think. Like when you blow. Well, you know what? I I don't have to change it right now. I already got it in my inventory, so I can just walk out the Normandy and just check it. I'm so happy that like. I mean, I like the idea of building your character, but fucking at the same time, Mass Effect 2 streamlined the shit out of it and made it way easier. I heard Mass Effect 3 does it even better, but I'm not sure. I, I never played it. Alright, Liara, come on, let's go. We're gonna use you at least twice throughout this game. One here, and then one when we go and punch your mom in the face. You know, when Tali sounds like that, I realize that she is a Lance, very attractive. The commanding officer is assured. Wait, when Tali sounds like what? When she's standing like that in the menu screen right there. He? Yeah, she looks really good. Oh, I mean, she always looks good. Oh, well, I know, but it just shows the extra emphasis. All right, what do you go with? Oh wow, you were good with no guns, I guess. <laughs> Alright, what's Singularity? Let's see. I can give you your barrier. Everyone should have barrier. Okay, first aid. Overload. Warp. Oh, I gotta unlock your stasis. Advanced stasis with singularity again. Let me see. Creates vortex. Oh, that's great. One more point. Singularity unlocked. Oops, I didn't mean to add to that. My bad, but who cares? Cool. And as for you. Uh, which one is your cooldown? Is this your cooldown? Dampening. Wouldn't that be a coin mechanic? Nah, this is just for shield capacity. Cool now increases oh, tech no. resistance. This is her tech like cooldown. No, attacking. That's for her tech cooldowns. I'm trying to see a cooldown for her, uh, for her first aid. But I don't think she has anything to help the cooldown on her first aid. Besides just, like, increasing it. Dampening is for radius. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Put one point into it. And I don't have anything for Shepard. That's fine. Now equipment. First things first. So I don't die instantly. Cooldown bonus. Biotic Amp, I don't really care about that, honestly. Not right now, anyways. Avenger 3 is what I just bought. Um, What is the... Uh, Kessler 3? Oh, her Stinger is better than the Kessler. Well, then I'm taking the Custler, then. Fuck. I guess I can give you the Storm, then. Uh, 
14% heat sink. The absorption. Now oh, let's just go with heat sink three. All right. We saw your ship. If I Dan wants to speak with you immediately. Who the fucks by Dan? Of my own to tend to. The Geth wait for no one. They're preparing another attack. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh! Yeah, he is immediately murdered. I forgot about that. Do something. How do you, how do you forget about spontaneous combustion? Because it's spontaneous. Nice cover, stupid. What? My, uh, okay. <laughs> he started floating. I took advantage of that shit. Up. Oh. oh, that's terrible. Okay, well, tapping that quick... Is it... It said tap bumper? What did it say? Oh, uh, there we go. Never mind. Oh, okay. okay, but when you map it... Wait, hold up. Oh, you can only... You can only my bad. You can only map yeah. one. Okay. For some reason, I thought you can map two, but I think that's a Mass Effect 2. You can map two of them. Yeah, that would be going to both cores, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking get the stalkers. They're like Valdo from fucking Soul Calibur. Shot that motherfucker on sight. Nice job. Where? What? <laughs> Damn, who killed him? Was that you, Tally? Fuck. Tally going hard. See, my voice is not as fucked up as before, but now it's getting better. It's not great, but it's better. Make sure they're secure. Those Geth are bloody dangerous. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Your homeboy's dead. He died. Oh, these are all the guys with the weird infection thing, right? Yeah. What do they do? Fuck with the plant or something? Yep. Researchers and scientists. The Geth are mounting another attack. Who's getting shot up? There, there, dear. You'll get through this. Just relax. The Geth just keep coming. Have you tried shooting them? With your gun? I think if I... I think around here if you grab information before you talk to someone and unlock something, right? Might be thinking of some other location or something. Could have sworn. That was like this area. I'm not a fighter. I'm a merchant. Oh, boohoo, buddy. You're gonna die. It's called living oh, in the no. south. Get used to it. Now it's called a headset. This work must be completed. This work must be complete. The Geth can't be allowed into the. They're coming. Stop the Geth. They're, they're the coming. Uh, no, I know they're in tubes. I, I thought like I talked to people and get some information or something beforehand. Hello, Fidan. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? I'm sorry, I'm here, bitch. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! You shit on yourself? We've got Geth in the tower. No, that was from you. That was. Don't even try and gaslight me. Come on. Nothing vibrated on my end. I heard that vibration. It was from you. Bro. 
Don't even catch yourself. I am literally just holding a monk here. There is nothing going on. Oh my god, why are you gaslighting? Because you're so fucking easy. I got a barrier. I don't wanna die. Please don't let me die. I'm trying my best, man, alright? He won't let me get up. Did this man die? Did they get him? Oh, well, I, I, I don't see no body. So, uh, maybe? Mm. Who threw that grenade there? Sure as fuck wasn't me. Is your Liara is really notorious for that? Liara is really going fucking crazy. I believe we are headed in the wrong direction. The tower is behind us. Oh, I'm sorry, you fucking scientist. All right, god damn, I just want to explore a bit. Tower spot. Shut up. If they let me go this way, I'm gonna go this way. All right. Might be something crazy. Might be something fancy down here. You know. You trying to deter me? Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh damn. Man almost died. All you did was boom shakalaga. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, fucking, they're cleaning house. <laughs> those two are fucking. Those two are going stupid. Tally, don't make me question you. Come on now. Uh, you can you can put a bag over the head and question all you like. Why would I put a bag over her head? She's beautiful. Fuck your force field, man. Damn, Lee Hari, you're going stupid. See, there's a water valve. This valve looks like part we needed to come here anyways for like a like different mission. We need to activate as well. See, I know what I'm doing. Calm down, guys. A little bit of sequence breaking. What the fuck? Is this where the dogs are at? Look at those happy boys. Oh, that's a stronger one. It's an alpha. Fell dead, riddled with slugs. <laughs> this must be the alpha male pack leader. Sure. Got something in my inventory, probably a mission important item. Malfunctioning object, well let's just take a look at that. We also leveled up. Looking good team, looking good. I think I'm gonna keep putting shit into your singularity because that seems to be doing some crazy shit. We're gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. Let's keep moving, guys. Keep on hustling. Big lights, big city. That's the life for me. Ever watch Jam in the Giant Beach? Yeah. It's a great movie. Oh, yeah. Liara, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, girl, you were just kind of. No she was just kind of standing there. She had a barrier on. Did she? Yeah. She also was tanking that shit like a motherfucker. I also healed them because they were gonna die. <laughs> Shoulder checked them. Hi, Ian Newtstead. You don't want to go down there. Fuck on my You're way. Not stopping me. Maybe I will stop you. 
How would you like that? Pull a shotgun. Oh, he's having like a mind grand thing or something? That was a good one. Very intense. You all right? What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind Oh yeah, he's fighting alive. against the, the the thing. You're here for the geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Trying to get to the... This one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Can I help? <laughs> is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. Listen, if I need Paragon I points to save him... Die fighting. Tell me more. I could help you if you told me what you're fighting. Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. It's like sticking a thorn up my ass. Time's up. Company's coming. Ask my dad. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out! What? Light him up, team. Oh, look at that. That was juicy. So you you are it? I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I know I can save that guy. You know, if I can, if I kill the plant, he won't be enthralled no more. It's not like Final Fantasy XIV, where once they get enthralled by the fucking primals, they're fucked for life. There was a storyline where a child got enthralled, and it's like, ooh, you're fucked. has not yet activated. I do not believe we are finished yet. We should look for another valve. Was there one down here that I just didn't see? Let's have a quick on look see. Oh. oh wait, no, that's Tally. The fuck? No, oh, guess he was waving high. <laughs> this is where the dogs was at. Was there a. I don't think there's a pump over here, right? Might be down here. Oh, nope, that was activated. Oh, here it is. There, that did it. The system is active. Telling me I'm going the wrong way. I'm just being an action hero. I wanna go to space. He's. Spaceys is where the crack is. <laughs> Speaking about crack, I think crack crackheads are getting chased in your background right now. Uh, yeah, it's a problem. I literally start dumpster fires in our fucking parking lot. See, I was gonna make a waifu joke there, but you wouldn't get it. He told me to talk to you. Protect the heart of the colony. All right. I talked to you. Yeah, it's like they're gonna lay you. The guests are mounting another attack. Do I have to protect the? Oh yeah, I have. I do have to protect these fuckers, don't I? I'm making a manual save for those. 
Wait, what the fuck? Don't die of thirst. The Geth will surely kill us all. Just keep coming. All right, guess I gotta finish whatever the fuck they want me to finish first. I can't really talk to any of them now. I think this is the way I gotta go. Right? Maybe. Nope. You motherfuckers were telling me I was going the wrong way. Where the fuck do I go? Let's see. Inform that the alpha's dead. Head to Amazon system now. Water restoration. What the fuck? I mean, those are the missions. Those are the only missions that it says I have. If the Geth don't kill us, the lack of food just might. I. They'll be here any minute. All right. I okay. Back on until the gap are removed. Glad to see some soldiers. Keep alert. They'll be here any minute. I'm sorry, you talk again? They must be stopped. No, they don't. Die of thirst. The Geth will surely kill us all. I don't know what voice actor that is, but it sounds familiar. How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? Do I do I talk to you? The Geth can't be allowed in who the fuck do I talk to? Did I break it by doing the missions beforehand? I don't think I did. We've got Geth in the tower. Protect the heart of the colony. I'm supposed to talk to you. All right. I don't know what the fuck y'all want me to do. I really don't. Let's check the map. What's this? Who's this? Stop the Geth in the tower? Where the fuck oh am I at? God. Why is my throat doing this to me? Like I want to speak normally, but I keep on trying to fucking go back to Rasby dead. All that dick you've been sucking. Oh man, I gotta decrease the size then. Oh, that's a pussy move. Well, like, don't. Well, how are you gonna get stronger if you don't test your limits? Well, I think this is from my limits. Ah, uh, it's like working on a muscle, you know. You gotta, you gotta go past your limits. You'll be sore for a couple of days, but you'll be fine afterwards. We did it. That looks fun. What is that? It's like a it's like a alien probe. Now we can update Fidan and get a vehicle safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. The fuck? Is this supposed to be cloth or something? It's hurting my eyes. <laughs> I did it, Fidan. I think I'm going the right way. I did it. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. Fuck I'm you. I'm interested in what Saren sent the Geth to find. Nothing more. If it's Geth you're looking for, you've come to the right place. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. 
We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny. They came, they came, and they came. Place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. Exogenius XJ9 stripper name. Lead to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. He hasn't been the same since that plant stuck its vine up its ass. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. They can't talk about it, right? Like, they physically can't talk about it? Yeah, whatever the biological fucky thing. Um, that's preventing them from exposing truths. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus' hope. Everything happened. Everything changed was the Fire Nation attack. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Renegade, 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 renegade. Did I level up? Nope. Oh, I gotta talk to you. For some reason. Commander, what can I do for you? What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. Shit. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. Power. Uh, I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseas. Tell me about the power. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. All right. I'll talk to you when I learn more. I will go talk to her. Thank you. You, I solved your food problem. You can thank me. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid meat. <laughs> the Alpha, he's huge and he's mad. And he keeps telling me how excited he is about concealed carry laws. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Give me money. Fort I know you're poor, board, so I can get but give me money. Important things. Of course. I don't want to delay you any more than I already have. Paragon plus eight, Renegade plus two. Renegade, 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 Renegade. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. I'm trying to, I'm trying to place the voice. I really am. It's so familiar. I had it in my head. I literally just had it in my head. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. I think I remember the voice now. I think, you might want to fact check me on this, I think the voice actor for that character might be the same voice actor for the Doctor in Arkham Asylum. What do you do here? 
I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those geth come over the Would water. you like to fa fact check that? I'm looking. Okay, well, let me, uh... It looks like you're let me finish talking to this lady and I'll give you some names. Oh, well, just ship yeah, give diagnostics. Me her name. nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on... I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. You want to tell me about the power? I can't be distracted. Please All right. Go. All right, let me run back over to her. Her name is Maka Doyle. Macha Doyle. What the fuck? And the doctor's name in Arkham Asylum is... Oh, fuck. What is her name? Dr. Young. Summer. Dr. Young? Dr. Penelope Young, I think her name is? Um, she is... In Atlanta. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I fucking hate this. I'm loving it. Um. Wow, she's done a lot. Yeah, probably like smaller roles, but is she a uh, Dr. Young or whatever fuck, fuck her name is in Batman? I'm looking. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, I take the elevator. Watch out! Scout! The bigger the minute. I don't know how much more I can take. I didn't really do anything, they just kind of did it themselves. How the fuck did the Mako get in here? And now to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent being would typically say. Ooh, that's, that's a graphical glitch. A lot of StarCraft and Star Wars. Yeah, boys acting. Yeah, I yeah, know. Senator Solid and all oh, for fuck six. Fucking sick of this. Listen, if you're gonna say any names from Star Wars that's not fucking Rey, Ahsoka, Yoda, or any of the other basic bitches, I'm not gonna know. Oh no, I'm talking about like Star Wars all the old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire. I haven't played all the old Republic. That's the MMO one, right? Yeah, I think so. I still haven't played KOTOR. Uh, uh, she's done the band docks. But Boondocks. She done what from the Boondocks? Uh, Desperate Friend number two. Uh. So just like an extra. Uh, yeah. She's in Diablo 3 as an uh, Oriel. Haven't played Diablo? Why the fuck would I play Crackdown? Brutal legend. Have it, haven't played it. Need to play it though. Yep. Uh, Batman Arkham is on Dr. Penelope. Yeah! <laughs> you were right. 
Hell yeah. Oh, and she was number five for codename Kids Next Door. That's what I remember her voice from as well. Fuck. Let's be honest, we all had a crush on number three. Uh, the Asian one. <laughs> oh, I wasn't thinking of that. But you agree, though, don't you? Uh, how do they go get it again? I think she was actually Korean. Was she Korean or Japanese? She was probably Japanese. Uh, apparently she was Lana in Lilo and Stitch. Lana? Who the fuck is Lana? Is that the girl Stitch? That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not. His name is Jong. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Shut up. I suggest you put that weapon down uh, unless no, you're ready Lana to use. Was a side character. Don't worry. All about right. Him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, despite everything the Geth have done to them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> you see? They're not here to save us. We should just wait for company support before we... Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. Oh, I'm not she interested was in, in Atlantis seats. as well. Commander, before you go... She was Princess Kida. Elizabeth. It's been a long time since I watched Atlantis. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper like a very long time. I remember less about Princess Kida and more about the fucking like the girl that was like was she from like the Bronx or some shit? Like the tough girl? Mm. The one that the guy like ends up with, I guess. He's up. Uh Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. You wanna know why I fucking remembered <laughs> that voice? Was because, uh... Uh... Dr. Young screams a lot. <laughs> in fucking, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. So I just have that voice clip, like, permanently in my brain. Oh, he must have really enjoyed her screaming. No, nah, she just screams a lot, and then she gets blown up. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. If there's anybody I'm looking at in fucking the Arkham games, it's Harley. I mean, come on. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. You're a liar. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. Nothing personal. Sounds personal. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light duty R and D labs. So this guy is like the equivalent of like the people who work for fucking Whaling Utani in the goddamn alien franchise, yeah? The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self It's like nothing's important there. Except for the fact that we're trying to keep the aliens alive to use as bioweapons. Yep. And please remember, if you see my daughter Fucking Alien is such a good movie. <laughs> so good.
We ran when the attack hit. I'm sorry. I don't think any of the colonies get the support they deserve. Nice accent, dude. Oi, it's Gavin. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. Fair enough. I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. All right. Sounds I heard pay. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not Tally, bad, really. what I tell you about talking All for me? Do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data Peter, what did I tell you about volunteering me for shit? Hmm, <laughs> I might be able to help. I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, that's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. Why'd you hesitate to answer that? Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Keep in mind I have a gun. The frontier is a lot more dangerous than most people realize. Let's go, team. Move out. Did I level up? I did. <laughs> I'm gonna... see. We each start time on squad healing grants the neural shock ability. I'm gonna up my barrier. Cooldown, pistol damage, 10%. Hmm. Alright, what do you got? Her throw is pretty okay to begin with. Warp is pretty strong. So is sing Singularity. Fifty seconds for throw. I'm gonna up the fuck out of her stasis because it has the shortest recovery time. My pistol equipped. They are your pistol's fucking fine. I might steal it from you, honestly. <laughs> My, it's better than mine. Wait, what? Wait, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, I go, I go around? Oh, I didn't even see, oh my god, the lighting in here is so fucking dark. Yeah, that looks good then. <clears throat> so what are you playing right now? I am honestly just watching you right now. I know chat is so beautiful you can't take your eyes off, can ya? Wait, what? 
Who said that over the radio? No idea. Cheeky bastard. There we go. I was trying to punch it. I got an upgrade kit. Don't know what it was for. What do you gotta say about this, Tally? Gas have brought ruin to this world, as they do to every world. All right, you fucking racist. Lucky you're hot. <laughs> Unlike you, Kari. <laughs> Don't care how hot that girl is. Fucking toxic, constantly getting spewed out her mouth. I guess I gotta go in the the other way. Uh. Crush that boy. How the fuck do I get under there? Wouldn't that mean the tunnel that you were in before? No, I was at the end of it. Uh -huh. It just opened out back here. That's why I thought that there would be like another way in, like over here or something, but it's not. Oh, now it opened? That was closed before. Oh, because they were trapped in there. Oh, I get it. And they opened the comms and they said they're all like, oh, let's get out of here. And I was like, oh no, the gas, the gas. Nice hiding spot, ding dong. God, my barrier lasts for fucking ever now. Holy shit. That was long. Cover me! I'm going in. No. Bad. This is a pretty good team. You guys are really doing a great job. Both of them are doing better than fucking Garrison Rex. Who should we bring for the next mission? Um, I'm thinking... Garrus and... Hmm. Let's throw Garrus and Rex together. We'll see how well they work with each other and they're bickering. I think I had them hanging out with me when I was in the last stream when I was doing the Citadel shit. The gas have moved in rather quickly. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside. I love how they just stand there and they're like, hey, guess what? This is how we're gonna do it. No scope that fucker. Absolutely blasted. See, I thought I had... I, I resent that statement. I thought I had the sniper out. Uh, where you thought? Yeah, I did. Yikes. <laughs> okay, Tally. I felt, I felt the prejudice behind that one. Just want to see if there's anything back here. I don't think there is, though. Nope. 
jammed, but but I prefer peanut butter. Oh, damn it. I had to scratch my nose. Ah, oh, fuck, wrong button. Just wasted a barrier. Oh, hello. Consider barrier not wasted. Guys, maybe we should not be hanging out in this fucking tunnel. Guys, kill it. Come on. having a fun time hiding out. I did it again. I pressed the wrong button again. Fuck. There we go. Well, this was just like a little extra room. Huh. Our weapons cannot touch Aww, you. Aww, like who's a sleepy we'll boy? Way I'm a sleepy boy. I'm a sleepy boy. Yeah, I a will trip down, do it tomorrow if you are. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Later. Damn it! Damn, bitch, what the hell? I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth. Or one of those barren. Do I look like a robot or a dog? Who are you? And what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Tell me more. I need more information. I would like to know. I need to know why the Geth are after this Thorian. I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out. She's alive. alive, don't worry. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. Maybe because it can brain care. control people? Was studying Mind it, fuck them? I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Alright, I'm gonna go shoot some slug aliens. Take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Oh my god. Wow, lady, you could have at least warned me that I was going to get attacked. Shit. Come on, crew. Let's continue going. Take out my pistol. I think we go this way. 
I'm gonna heal you up, Liara. There you go. Stupid machine! Wait, what? Access encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I'm gonna shoot a motherfucker. I'm unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want, or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust. Please contact your supervisor for a level four security exemption, or make an appointment with. Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Ah oh, shit! You fucking space snitch! Oh my god, he's still alive. You guys are fucking lethal. Holy shit. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Any answers? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Hmm. All right. What did you tell him? I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. Zoo's Hope? What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thori? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Exogeny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. So basically they were used as fucking human guinea pigs. Hmm. Pilot should be warned. It couldn't hurt. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. B.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. All right. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. Good job. Ooh. Auto save. Nice. Come on, team. Roll out. Gonna shoot some motherfucking alien slug boys. Oh. What was I aiming at? They're praying. They're praying to the ship? Blow them up. Liara, I'm gonna take your gun. The Geth used these claws to anchor their ships to the sides of buildings. Indelicate, perhaps, but very efficient. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. I mean, they're supercomputers, basically. So, uh, do me a favor, Liara, like a real clean favor, right? Right? Listen. You know what? I take that back, Liara. This gun is mine. <laughs> you can keep yours. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy this. There we go. Glowing orb. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. 
the fuck happened to you? God. Oh shit. A barrier. Yep, I definitely prefer this gun. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus, Liara. Oh, and here's the barrier. Uh, how do I put this down? Oh shit, alright. Um, what's this way then? Okay, which way is fucking progress? This leads... I don't know where this leads. What? This leads down stair- wait, did I just come from here? No, I came from here. What the flying fuck? Then where does this lead? There's an upstairs and a down- well, the okay, downstairs is blocked. There we go. What, is he getting aimed at by a... Uh, thought I was getting sniped at or something. Oh, well, yep, it's a sniper. Look at all this funky alien shit. There we go, that was confidential bullshit that I didn't bother. Bother? <coughs> That's a way to say that. Confidential bullshit I didn't bother to read. Just want to make sure there's nothing else in here I'm missing. I think that was the only thing in here, right? Only thing in here of note. I believe so. Alright, team, move out. Now we head this way. Oh, wrong way. Oh my god. Kill it, kill it, kill it. It's too close. Oh my god, the thing is recovering way too fast. <laughs> I just wanted to see what the hell was happening. Oh, he killed Liara! No! It's okay, girl, I got you. You guys are doing a great job, and we just leveled up as well, so... What do I have right now? Okay, I have this out. I got my pistol. We're doing really good. I'm gonna up my barrier, because I'm... <laughs> barrier's getting, like, really good. Liara, your singularity is fucking crazy, along with your barrier. Um... Tree shield capacity. First aid. Warp. Hmm. I should work towards getting a lift as well, right? Recharge time can go all the way. 
12 seconds. 40. 40, 40. Hmm. Oh, they're all 40. Okay, recharge time on first aid is 20 seconds, though. Yeah, she'll work towards you getting your thing. <coughs> Tally, you're going fucking crazy out here. Let's get you your carnage ability. And then after this, I'm going to start putting more stuff on your hacking so you can get your abilities faster. I don't think I have any better uh, armor yet, right? Amp. Let's see, I don't... Ooh, actually this is better. This one's better too. This one has more power, a little less accuracy, and a better heat sink. Assault rifle. Why am I switching back to my sniper? There we go. I got Gavin's data. Oh shit. Oh fuck. There we go. Alright, we got everything we need here and I think I just need to go downstairs now, right? I thought I needed to go downstairs, right? Fuck. Where do I go? Map. Wait, what? Wait, so I'm going... I'm going this way. Yes, I'm going this way. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I jumped down from here, so there's no way for me to go back up, right? This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. Where the fuck do I go? I'm supposed to go this way, but there's a barrier. How the fuck do I get rid of the barrier? Do I not get rid of the barrier by being up here? Isn't there like a... Hold up. It's gotta be like a... Uh kiosk or something, right? What's over here? Oh my god, I feel so fucking stupid right now. I can really use a dummy button. <laughs> a button for dummies. Let me see, was this blocked off? Yeah, it was blocked off. Okay, so then... So then there's gotta be a switch up here that I missed or something. This still says it's jammed. Like there's enemies around or some shit. Oh, I did not see this. There's steps. 
Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Thank you, autosave. Oh shit, where is it? that we lacked at the other claws. Dislodge even one claw and that ship will fall. And that's how gravity works. Beautiful. Door control. Get terminal. Fuck that. Oh, this one seems easy. Whoa. What do I need? More power or some shit? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There we go. Now, where where's the Geth Claw? Activate it. You find a repair kit attached to the console. The damage door shuttle base fire again works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower. Safety shut off kicks. Blah blah blah. Wait. So I oh okay. I did something. There we go. Barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. Alright, Tally. Damn, you're hot when you're angry, but like the hate boner. Norman need a shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, will do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. Okay. Everybody stay close. I don't want to kill them, all right? And we'll get out of here in one piece. I know I'm a little strict, but, uh... Tad Wellington wouldn't just kill innocents for no reason. Even though it sounds fun. <laughs> Alright, where the hell are we going? We're going back, uh... Where's the... Oh, God, it's so dark in here. I mean, they fixed the lighting. I believe they fixed the lighting in the community patch or something like that. Or one of the texture packs that I have modded on here. But, uh, fuck. It's a little, little dark. It's a little dark. I can't fucking see half the time. At least in this area. Also, I'm gonna have to get used to that. That rate of fire on this. Come on, team, let's go. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. You said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. 
When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I, I never meant for this to happen. You know what? I believe you. But I don't care. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zeus' hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Hmm. What bothers me is why the Geth were after the Thorian in the first place. Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped. Alright, lady, try not to die. I'm coming with you as she walks off by herself, okay? Cool, I guess. We go, uh, where are we going? Oh, the Mako's over here. So we're heading back to the colony. Come on, everybody, hop in the Mako. We're going for a ride. No, I will not be stopping at Denny's. Denny's is gross. It's where crackheads go to eat at in, like, fucking 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Driving in circles like a fucking madman out here. The Mako's still looking pretty good. It's getting beat up though. It's getting beat up a bit. Shield up, shields are down. Wait, what the fuck? What's over there? Hold up. Map? Wait, huh? There's a point of interest behind me? Wait, I'm confused. Why is there a point of interest behind me? Did I... Did I miss something? I don't think I did. I think this is just a waypoint. I think it's kind of acting like a waypoint. Alright, well. Turn back around. Try not to boost off the side of the fucking bridge, because I definitely did that before. <laughs> and it did not end well. It ended with the continue and a fuck off. My way, pipe. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio. What was that all about? Um, they're below us, right? I think they're below us. This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. That's my mom. Stop, stop the rover. How the fuck you get in my rover? Okay. Guess we got some time to check this out. What the hell are you guys doing? You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, oh, he's get... infected, I think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here. Either that or he's like hiding some secrets or some shit. I forgot. Elizabeth. Damn it. Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Oh, Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. What? I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. 
Not this time, Zhang. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogenic wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Zhang. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's the who? A telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So yeah, Jong. Nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. What? I don't have the renegade to do. Oh man, you serious? Damn it. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! Ooh. <laughs> well, don't even, don't even try it. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. I shot him up it's front, and I warned him. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I do my job. I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. Set your phasers to stun. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Okay. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades from the anti-Thorian gas upgrade. Okay. Gotta make sure you do that manually, because if you don't, you're gonna start hucking grenades into crowds. <laughs> Remember, I did that once by accident. I was like, ooh, my bad. Uh, where is it? Anti Thorian gas. There we go. Hey, Gavin, I got that data. You need it. There you go. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Give me money. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. Fuck yeah, Renegade. I think that's it over here. I don't think there's any other thing for me to do. I'm gonna have to be picking up uh, grenades though. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna get grenades from. Either that or like I just melee them. Up. Oh, I just wasted her grenade. <laughs> it's on the Mako now. I'm trying to think if, uh, how do I, how do I get, I think I just tell them not to shoot them, right? I just tell Tally and Liard to chill the fuck out. There you go. Ooh, level up. That'll come handy. That guy is a husk. Oh, he's a Thorian husk. Freaky. Don't kill it! All right, I just threw a grenade at it. No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what, what is going hell? on here. What are you doing? My dog just started walking up to me and just like freaking out. You all right? Lay down, buddy. Lay down. Don't do anything crazy. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. All right, no one shoot. Oh, wait, there's Thorian creepers, and then I think there's, yeah, yeah, no, there's Thorian creepers, and then there's the colonists. So the creepers aren't the colonists.
All right, barrier up. Stop it. Gotta wait for that to blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Oh my. F blow up. I gotta blow myself up to get it going. Healed my team. Now be careful, guys. We don't want to shoot them, even though it sounds fun. Oh, so with that said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna tell uh, Tali, make sure you got your pistol out. I don't want you, I don't want your spread shot killing motherfuckers. What are you trying to do, throw up on me? I don't have any grenades. Are you shitting me? Where do I get grenades? <laughs> Alright, well... Let's see if this works, then. No! Melee works. Taking it pretty slow because I don't want to accidentally shoot anybody. How's my barrier looking? It's coming back in like two seconds. One, two, three. T Liara, move! Hit them so hard they do fucking backflips. Colonists are still alive, right? Just gotta make sure I get you over here because I don't want to shoot you by accident. Gotta heal myself. Stop shooting me. Oh my god, you're still up. I said fucking stop. <laughs> Damn it. How many colonists are over there? Put that up. Just gotta make sure you guys are out of commission first. So I can deal with this shit. Oh, well. Liara and Tally went down. Oh my god, can you stop getting stuck on the cover? left. That's a colonist. I would revive those two, but I didn't want them fucking me up. All the colonists are alive. Don't do it. Don't do it. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't. Well, but I couldn't help you. Um. Wait, what? It's telling me to interact with something over here. 
Oh, we're going down. Okay. I was fucking confused. Level up, team. I'm gonna up my, uh... Hmm. When am I gonna up? I'm gonna up my... My barrier's already at max. I guess first aid, right? As for you, we're trying to unlock lift for you. And Tally, you got two points. We're putting that into your hacking so you can have shorter cooldown. Alright team, roll out. I'm actually going to switch the shotgun. Shotgun and assault. Uh, Liara, you can stay with your pistol. Tally, I want shotgun. Thirty-two points, zero renegade. Well, I can't. You know, come on, come on. Okay, now I'm starting to become more Paragon than Renegade. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem we're going to have to fix. It's so hard. It's so hard to play as Chad Wellington on this because he wouldn't... He wouldn't kill those people for no reason. That's freaky. That's All gross. Right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila. What is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? That's a fucking weird freaky mind plant. You're gross. Ew. He gave birth. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I don't... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I don't remember if this... Asari is a real Asari or not? I don't think it's a. Is it a real Asari? You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground in the new world. Nope, she's not real. Light that bitch up. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Uh, where the fuck do we go? This way. Liara's about to die. You guys are so fucking gross. How do I... Oh, it has a health bar. Duh. There we go, that's one. We don't really... You know what? I don't think we really have to worry about these husks that much. A few more and, it will be severely hurt. and he makes another sorry clone. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with the clone. I'm just gonna go for the- Oh! I'm not gonna deal with the clone, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Never mind. Clone's right here. Goodbye, bitch. 
You guys keep them busy. I'll be over here. Ooh. Omni gel. Don't know what I got from that, but something important, maybe. Come on, switch over, switch over, switch over. I was pressing the wrong button. That's why I didn't switch weapons. Yikes. I'm a little I'm a little stressed over here, okay? Dealing with another sorry coil. Punch that bitch. <laughs> oh no. Aw. Get back up. I need you guys to distract them for me. Okay, barrier's going up. That means I'm going straight, straight towards that route. Because y'all can't hurt me. Well, you can kind of hurt me if you do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Alright, listen. Uh, Liara kind of fucked up a little bit, alright? Still your commander. But I need your help. I, I kind of fucked up. You got Singularity or some shit? Okay, at least we got Barrier. Which honestly is not going to do much against the Creepers now that I think about it, because they just melee. But it don't matter. He's dead now. Should be dead. Oh wait, no. There's another Thorn somewhere. Allie, please, we need you. That was my last meta gel. So we got to be a little bit more cautious, but I think we're going to be fine. Ooh, medical station. Don't mind if I do. I got three Metagel. Hell yeah. Now where's the, uh... Where's the thing? Oh. Once I shoot it, they start waking up. Yep. Kick that motherfucker while he's down. Gotta switch back over to my assault. Come on. <laughs> she had barrier up. I had to do something. Knock her lights out. Where's the, uh, oh, here's the other tendril. Wait, so we're heading down? Oh shit. How many tendrils you got? Damn it. Gotta be mindful of these guys, make sure they don't get the jump on me. Like this one's trying to. 
Ow, he blew up on me. Oh my god, Tally. Honestly, Tally's con kind of a glass cannon. A bit. Liara is way more... Well, I was gonna say Liara is way more tanky than I thought, but, you know, she just proved me wrong. Great job, Liara. Come on. Alright, you guys, get back up. Now, what the hell do you think you're doing? That's not one? Okay. You know, this would be really easier if I had some fucking grenades, but I don't. And that's my last meta gel, so... If anything happens, we're fucked. should be good. Motherfucker behind me? There we go. Oh, that's the real one. Ew, she came out of some weird freaky thing. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. <laughs> I just had Spyro flashbacks. Spyro, thank you for releasing me. Hmm. <laughs> I don't trust you. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead, and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. I should shoot you she on sight. Herself with Saren. So did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Hmm. Quick making excuses. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause... I think Benezia is under, like, mind control or some shit, if I remember correctly. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. The fuck does that their culture, mean? Their history, 
<laughs> you must think like a Prothean. I mean, I understand what it means, but still, it's like, how, how the fuck can we do that if we don't know shit about them? When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the cipher? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. There is a way, Shepard. I can mind fuck you. Slow, deep breaths. So Let you'll either have shell. fun visions or I have a brain aneurysm, I don't know. Us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Liara, if she does some mystical Every fucky shit to me, I want you to shoot me. Glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Can I get that in IMAX? What the fuck happened to my face? <laughs> it just like switched back to normal. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I'm fine. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Mm, I don't... Mm, I need the renegade points. I need it so bad. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Chad Wellington wouldn't just shoot her down in cold blood like that. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. Oh, plus we're a Paragon. Fuck go. off. Fuck <laughs> off. Uh, I need more Renegade. But I will do a store discount, though. Mm, medicine, recharge time for first aid. Stasis is good. I mean, as long as I got barrier, I'm feeling fucking fine. Honestly. I guess medicine then. As for Liara, she's got a lot of fucky shit. <coughs> increase the strength of your shields, increase the amount of hull restored, let you use electric electronic skill to repair. Okay, grants the overload ability, which stuns and slow downs enemies. I'm gonna give it to her stasis. Has the has the let me see. Increases stasis duration. Yeah, okay. And then hacking for you just so I can increase your cooldown. Well reduce your cooldown, my bad. Just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Alright. 
back to Normandy. I think that's everything here to do, right? I don't think we have anything else to do over here. On Pharos or whatever the fuck this place is called. There's a lot of bullshit we gotta do. A lot of bullshit. Oh, now I got grenades. Great. Oh, I also gotta take the uh, anti-Thorian thing off of them, I think. Explosive. Alright everybody, back on the fucking Normandy. How much money do I have actually? Alright, I got I got a okay amount. Nothing too crazy. Commander. Oops. You look uh oh. <laughs> Are you suffering any ill effects? I'm not sure if anyone cycle? heard that, but I just fucking unplugged my headset for my accident. I gotta plug that back in. There we go. Sorry, Lara, I didn't hear anything you just said. My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Oh my god, everybody wants to fuck my head. Go ahead, fuck it. Sorry, we don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Her eyes are so shiny. Embrace eternity. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Glad you're having fun, Liara. My brain's being fucked. ...would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Did you learn anything? You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Can you not moan Sorry. like a porn star? <laughs> Jesus. Is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. All right. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Sure, I need Renegade points. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. Yeah, it would have. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Oh, shut the fuck up. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. Hey, council member, Torian, when you're talking to me, make sure the camera's point, pointing your way. Otherwise, your, valid, your point is invalidated. Goodbye. You're not a point enough. <laughs> uh oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. We lost that connection. Renegade, 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 renegade. Alrighty. Uh, 
who do I talk to? I can go and talk to Ashley, because <laughs> talking to Kaiden's not going to matter. <laughs> you can kill that motherfucker. Uh... Every time I played Mass Effect, I always made sure Kaiden lives, but I've seen him so many times that I'm just tired of him now. Any last words, Kaiden? What do you have to say to me? Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Theros. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Like I've got time to write you up. If you have something you want to say, feel free. Fair enough. Truth is, there's something wrong with all of this. This Saren is trading people to aliens for some kind of lost knowledge. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. I hear you. It just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. I trust you won't have any questions when I don't know what the fuck Bot the is, but I'm assuming it's some None. weird None. fucking None. space None. program None. you've been a part of. I'm just concerned. You won't have to worry about me, Commander. Oh, I got no Renegade points for that? Fuck! You're useless, Kaiden! Checking my locker. No one else even... <laughs> Kaiden is so... <laughs> Kaiden is so fucking useless that nobody hangs out with him up here. <laughs> now that I think about it. Ashley hung out with him, like, after the first mission, but then after that she said, Fuck it, I'm a space racist, but I'm gonna hang out with the aliens downstairs. All right. What's up, Garrus? Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Sounds fun. What happened? Why were you investigating? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. They're not as bad as the cyclones. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear. Imagine a fucking Elcor doing that. that. <laughs> Sincerely, I feel so, I feel bad for you as he hacks away at you. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan testicles? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Krogan nuts. Some Krogan believe that <laughs> testicle transplants can increase their virility counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. What if I take someone else's balls and attach them to mine? <laughs> full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. Hmm. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Good thinking. Blackies are always easier to scare. Exactly. 
Though in this case it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. So he was growing spare parts in his own employees. Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. What? <laughs> Why not? Uncle Garrus. Your story didn't have a happy ending. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. Threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs, but they wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. Well, you're here now. What I had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Now yeah, that, so now that is a no Chad Wellington no answer. <laughs> He's like, if I can save him, I can save him. Not though, fuck, they're dead. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Oh, Garrus, you want to go on a hunt? I'll check out the board. <laughs> you want to go on a hunt, Garrus? I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Salion. Oh, consider it done. I like story time with Uncle Garrus. He's my favorite. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Because, number one, I gotta use the bathroom. Number two, I've been going for like, what? Uh, when did I start streaming this? About? Oh god, have we been doing it for like, what? Four? Five hours? I've been doing this for fucking almost five hours. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> and I got a fucking okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. All right. <clears throat> Give me one. Well, not a quick second. I'll be back in like maybe a minute. <laughs> maybe a minute. So, without further ado, be right back.
All right. And we're back. Fuck. First things first, I turned on my AC. If you hear it in the background, I apologize, but it is the summer and I've been streaming for like about five hours now and it's fucking hot in here. So there's that. And then I might need to get up again in a little bit because my, my dog my dog looked at me like he has to use the bathroom or something, so. Because he usually goes out like before I leave for work, which would be like at midnight, so. But he seems fine. He's like kind of sleeping though. Anyways. All right. Let's talk to Ashley Space Races. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, Sid. Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's One of them? The youngest. What's up? You How many sisters you got? Male. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Hmm. I was an only child, but I get the idea. At least one of my parents was always on duty. Yeah, military families, eh? With schedules like that, it's a wonder we ever have kids anymore. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Hmm. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did, Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Vid mails? Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen hell why away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. He went to she fuck in the woods? Face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Okay. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like Oh it my god. <laughs> it was only a dozen light years away. <laughs> Fuck. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it. I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. She flowed like water. <laughs> Did you see me, master? I flowed like water. <laughs> Having flashbacks to fucking Cowboy Bebop. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. You Thanks for the story time, time, Ashley. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. You're not. Your stories aren't as good as as Papa Garris over there, but you know, it's all right. Family there. I cannot rest from travel. Papa Garris over here telling fucking like CSI stories, <laughs> and she's over here having a slice of life. Both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart. Much have I seen and known. What the fuck are you talking about, Ashley? What is this, a poem you're reciting? Climates, councils, governments. 
I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at 100 meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded... All right, Ashley, shit. You didn't have to yell at me. When he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. Dad's probably still watching. Don't worry, Ashley. We'll take a quick trip to Vermeer. You can see him soon. <laughs> you mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Of course not. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people. That was like the most shadiest, like, of course not ever <laughs> that I've ever did in my life because I didn't have my hand on the controller. I was scratching my leg. So it's it's like I almost hesitated. How can you look at this galaxy? It's like, why'd you hesitate? I was scratching my leg, I swear. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. We'll talk later, Williams. We'll talk later, Ashley. Skipper. Hey. All right, what? Oh, God, I thought Rex fucking just up and, up and left for a moment. Holy shit. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. I'm drinking. Why I'm drinking some Mio. I have some orange tangerine meal. It's got vitamins in it. Tastes fucking great. I love it. Expensive as shit, though. I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old. And so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. And what about you? What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. I like Rex. Rex is like, listen, I love fighting. I love the fight. It's great. But you gotta have a reason to fight. You can't just fight for the sake of fighting. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming <laughs> Rex, the voice of reason, the true voice of reason, he's like, guys, stop shooting each other. We all just need to stop and start fucking. I mean fucking for like a whole generation, maybe even a second, like rabbits, just ravenous. <laughs> I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead lay bare to remind us where we come from, where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did, but when your father invites you to a crush, well... There are some laws that even we hold sacred. Wait, your dad said he didn't want to fuck? What's wrong with your dad? Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. 
and that's why I'll never go. Man, I hope that's how I fucking die. Like my son or daughter, fucking whatever I have, if I have one, maybe I'll adopt one. But whatever, maybe even my dog if I don't have any type of child. But I want to die by their hand so that as I'm dying I can go, I'm finally proud of you. <laughs> All right, tell me about your family. You family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You trying to make me cry, Shepard? Maybe. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. I heard armor. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Atus. A Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander... I want to be there when you find him. Good. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right, let's go talk to Tally. See what the fuck she got for us. Oh, Tally. Tally ho. Hello, Tally. With the big booty, what you doing? Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're feeling better. Good to see you smiling again. Good to see you smile again, Tally. Even though I can't see through your fucking, <laughs> your fucking visor. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Sterin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the Migrant Fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. You're royalty? So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. Hmm. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What if we save the galaxy? I'm not good enough for them? The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out again. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. 
Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Steren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. What about your mommy? Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that. So too. like Neji and Naruto. Yeah, had like some weird ass caste system. Virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Like nothing. Bye. I should go. <laughs> See you later. All right. I leveled up from that. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me ask about your pilgrimage real quick. Know more about the pilgrimage. When my, but no, we set up. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective okay. ship. Okay. So she doesn't have anything for us yet. All right, cool. I thought we had like a mission for her or something. And I thought that would be the last alien to talk to on the ship. I forgot we got Liara. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers talk a lot. It's cool, I love the lore, but sometimes for a playthrough, it's not the most entertaining thing to watch. Uh, where's Liara? I think she's hanging out with Chakwes. Hey, Chakwes, you got anything new for me? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Nope, nothing. I should go. Goodbye, nothing Commander. new. See you later, Chakwes. Hey, Liara. I didn't even talk to you the first time we got you. I'm sorry. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You're right. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. That's her job. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology, just in case. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Mm, what about your mom? Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Any chance she's in this for power or personal gain? No, not the Benezia I knew. But I hadn't spoken with my mother in many years. She may have changed. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds cool. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out histories... That sounds way more fun than partying. For me. Yeah, that's right. I'm that you type of guy. <laughs> by working Prothean technology. 
That is why I'd rather read the book than go to a party. I love the quiet. It's fantastic. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. Oh, I calm down, Liara. An interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be A joke? So oh, I understand. Ha ha. Complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Will do. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe We always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in in, <laughs> in disputes. Meanwhile, we're the Asari. We have these things called Justicars, <laughs> which are just like crazy fucking crazy fucking psycho bitches. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That's disgusting. Show me how it works so I know so I know how to avoid it though. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true <laughs> you guys must be our very elastic. Us to meld with other beings. Mess around with the Krogans the in their quads. We explore the genetic memory of Krogans have four balls. <laughs> Much like the main character of JoJo Part 8, the Krogan has four balls. <laughs> <laughs> it is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Am I going to get locked up if I ask this question? <laughs> Sorry, lived for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner, though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Mm. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. That's so we stupid, Shepard. <laughs> That's <laughs> Shepard. You're an idiot. How the fuck? How the fuck do we make it to space? <laughs> Without being able to mate with our own species. That's a dumb question, Shepard. You're a fucking moron. Why are you a specter? Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari. Shepard, you ever watch this thing called Harry Potter? You know, it's kinda it's kinda like the reverse. They don't like the purebreds. Was embarrassed by their union. They love the mudbloods, though. They have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Why agree to the union if she didn't want any children? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Hmm. Alright. Nothing else. See you later, Liara. Goodbye, Shepard. 
All right, we're done talking to people. Fuck. Let's do some missions. Well, let's do a mission. Also, I gotta go in here because I think I gotta grab the uh, experience for looking at the Kodak, right? Personal manual. Boom. Experience. I also leveled up. I need to find a way to get more Renegade. We need to do some... We need to do some not fucking important missions. Let's not advance the story. How about that? Let's go get some Renegade points. Wait. I just wasted my time, didn't I? Fucking damn it. <laughs> I gotta go back up. Look how beautiful I am. Such a beautiful boy. All right. Uh, let's check the journal. Here's our assignments and garrison Rex. Get the activities. Armstrong Nebular Cluster, investigate what the Geth are up to, investigate samples. We found personal log of Exogeny employees, doctors now, where do I gotta go for this? Oh, go into the systems. Wait, what? Okay, investigate facility. Geth in the tunnels. I thought, wait, I thought I was done with Pharos. Oh, shit. Well, we're still here. We're still on Pharos, so I guess we can, you know... Pharos? Pharos? Whatever the fuck, however the fuck I pronounce this bullshit. Alright, well... Since we're here, we're doing some cleanup. Let, let's have Kaiden actually go to work a little bit. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Let's, Exo Presley has the deck. Let's give these two something to do before we head to Vermeer. <laughs> All right, Ashley, what do you got for me? Hold up. Uh, how many points you got? Fifteen. Fuck. All right. Uh, assault rifles will unlock that. I want to unlock heavy armor for you. Um. First aid. Okay. Soldier and fitness is great. Fitness is just max health, right? She's pretty good for that right now. Uh, I think I want her to be good with assault rifles. And we can give her... No, she's one more away from advanced shield boost. Kaiden, time to give you something. Uh, Sentinel... Medicine, electronics. Well, barrier will help you. Let's get your stasis out there. Decryption, electronics will give you what? Let's get some first aid out there. Unlock Medicine. Sentinel. Recharge time for first aid. Electronics. Increase the shield capacity. Hmm. Master Lift. A lot of stasis. As for me, what can I mess with? I really don't care about all the other shit. What about decryption? Let me get master sabotage so we don't have to worry about Tally being on our team to hack into shit. Let's go, team! I didn't. I didn't. Get the fucking med packs from the goddamn... Uh, 
I should do that. It'll take like one second. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I restocked on Metagel. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Don't relax too much, Presley. I'll be gone in two seconds. Don't worry, I'm just here to get some Metagel. So I don't blow up. <laughs> on my well, on my mission. Hey Chakwez. Where's the Metagel at? Somewhere around here. I know it's in here somewhere. You're hiding it from me. Is it back here? Isn't there Am I crazy? Isn't there somewhere where I where I get where I can restock on Metagel in, in the Normandy? Oh here it is. Hey, there we go. See you later, Chakwas. Here we go. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. All right, just gotta make sure that you guys got some actual equipment. Oh shit, Kaiden, what 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 are you good with, by the way? Uh, nothing. You're good with nothing. It doesn't matter what you have. Well, I guess Sentinel makes you good with pistols, right? That's like the only bonus you're getting for your weapons. So, Kaiden's gonna be staying on pistol duty. Uh, yeah, here you go, Kaiden. That'll be good for you. Ashley, it doesn't matter what the fuck you have, but I kinda want you to be our assault queen. Oh my god, what the hell, the thunder? Ooh. Wreck shop. Go ahead. Have fun with that. She can also have our shotgun shit. 190. Why 197? Can I have that? That one's mine. Here, Ashley, you can have the Firestorm. I heard that one is great. F is a great streamer. <laughs> you should go get us up for it. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, who's got their weapons set to what now? Gaiden, Ashley. Take your assault out. Me. I'm gonna switch between my handgun and my sniper. All right. We gotta go take out some fucking Geth. And then I think that's the last thing we do here, right? Because doing that solves the power issue they have. So where the fuck do I go? Zoom in, zoom out, how do I... Wait. Okay, hold up, hold up. We're coming from here, so I guess we're heading... Downstairs? Yeah, we're heading into the tunnels. Okay, great. Geth should be in the tunnels. I just wanted to check in there, see if uh, see if there was anything new. But no, we just gotta go and deal with the power issue. That's fine. Which is upstairs. We go. Th oh shit! Which way do we go? We go this way.
Okay, we're in the tunnels. I hope we're in the right tunnels. Yep. There we go. We already wiped out all the gut that was here blocking the waterways, so don't gotta worry about that. Open up, bitches! Oh, fuck! I pressed the wrong button. I would've been dead if I didn't back up. My man started floating like he's Jesus. Damn, that lasts for a long time. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a Krogan. I'm not messing with that. Oh, he's chasing me. Hold up. Wait a minute. He was right behind me. Where'd he go? <laughs> Those guys are dangerous. Oh, my God. Oh, he got stuck. I lucked out on that one. Thanks, Kaiden. Kind of a little- oh fuck, there's more of them. Oh fuck that. I can push too, motherfucker. Boom. Wasn't strong enough to knock him down. Ashley, thanks for getting in front of my fire. God, their regeneration is so strong. Transmission tower. There we go. Problem solved. Upgrade kit. Nice. I, I guess that's everything in here, right? Just that one transmission? Still doing a nice little effect. But that should be it. Oh my god, this shit would be so unbearable if I didn't have this fucking unlimited sprint. Wait, what the fuck? Where am I going? Wrong way. This way. Uh oh. Oh, who put that shield up? Asshole. <laughs> Smack him in the face. Bad Geth. How dare you? Um, uh, We just go this way. Alright, who the hell do I talk to? I think I, I think there's like a girl at the terminal or some shit? I'm hearing shooting. Some shit's going on back there. Uh, who, who do I... Wait, it... Wait. Do I just not talk to anybody? Beta recovery, get and tunnel. Uh, well, mm. well, that uh solves that, I guess. Yeah, mission complete. I guess I don't talk to anybody. It'll be tough going. You saved most of the. Nope. Nope. 
All right, yeah, I, I, I guess I don't talk to anyone. Mission complete. All right. I get no reward. I'm sorry. I'm a little confused about that. <laughs> what? Completed for remaining Geth forces and their transmitter. Okay, well, cool. You got something for me? Nope. All right. Well, back to Normandy. Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> Spyro, thank you for releasing me. I wanted to do a stream of uh, Spyro the Dragon, the first one, because I feel like I can finish that game in like five hours. Like 100%. Or whatever the fuck. What is it? Is it 101% for the first game? It's like some weird fucking percentage. Alright, I guess, I guess... Now we had Kaiden do something. It was it was for a little bit, but at least he did something. Exo Presley stands relieved. Alrighty. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. What the Top fuck do they want? Points. Patch them through. I'll take it in the comm room. As long as they don't force me to go to fucking Vermeyer. Commander Shepard. We've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. He didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? The Council agreed that Saren was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the Council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. I don't like being kept in the dark. We can't have you racing around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> if I go there now, some people are gonna die. The missing infiltration team's not my problem. Clean up your own mess. That unit may have sacrificed their lives to get this message out. Saren is up to something on Vermeer. You'd see that if it weren't for your stubborn human pride. I will find Saren, but I'm doing it my way. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything I just, else. I love the idea that, like, that the Council knows if I go to Vermeer, fucking chances are that I'm going to lose two teammates. So they're just sitting there going, come on, Shepard. Come on, Shepard. Why, why don't you go to Vermeer? Come on, Shepard. What are you doing? What are you, Shepard? Vermeer's great. Why don't you go to Vermeer? You just got to stop there a little bit. Come on, just go to Vermeer. They're plotting on my downfall. Alrighty. Missions ho. Let's a go go. Okay, let's see. Investigate shipments. Let's go look for the doctor. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. What the fuck do they want? Normandy? Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. I'm on it, Admiral. 
Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting again. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. All right. Geth incursions. A bunch of Geth incursions, but I'm here to look for the, the doctor. Where the fuck is the doctor? Did I not choose the right cluster? Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard. Oh my god. Hackett. What do you want, Hackett? We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. Uh... How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? You respect us, Shepard. And this isn't some run-of-the-mill mission. What do you got for me? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology. Hey! Pinnacle, Pinnacle Station! One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Alrighty. Okay, fine, Doctor. Oh, I think I got a scan for him. I think that's why I, I don't know where he's at. I don't see nothing over here. Oh my god, I hate that I have to fucking go through a loading screen just to go through the menu. I think they get rid of the shit in Mass Effect 2. I don't think the guy is out here, right? If he was, there'd be like a little twinkle or some shit. I assume he would be like in an asteroid belt or something like that. Like over here somewhere. Hello. Um. There we go. That's just a nice little deposit. Either that or he'd be in like a ship somewhere, right? Oh man, to do the deal with the Geth Inscursions, I gotta like, land on the planet? Isn't like, the doctor in like, a ship or something? I'm not trying to land on a planet and fucking fly around the- fly around- drive around the Mako right now. It's the last thing I wanna do right now. 
<laughs> oh man, Mako, I love you, but fuck, dude. Oh wait. Oh, I thought I saw a little twinkle. Damn it. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong cluster. What the fuck? I'm an idiot. Message coming in. Patching it through. Oh my god, who the fuck it is now? Is it Hackett? Troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Former scientists? Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. That can't be a coincidence. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. All right. Now, where the fuck? Let me just make sure that that's the only... Oh. <sighs> Fucking Christ. There he is. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Can't say no to a chance to get some renegade points. You two are coming with me. Okay, I was like, I was like, I know you guys are tall, but ain't no fucking way you're that tall compared to me. Oh wait, no, you guys are huge. Some tall boys. All right. Uh, first things first. We gotta fix some bullshit you guys got. All right, tactical armor. Gotta upgrade it so you can get mid armor. Uh, assault training, that would actually be pretty helpful. Damage increase with... Oh, just standard weapon damage? Okay, well first let's get assassination. Decryption. Um... Hmm. Yeah, decryption. Advanced sabotage. A little bit of dampening, never hurt anybody. Get some first aid in there. Victorian agent. Yours is our snipey boy. I love him. Assault training. That's for like all weapon types. And assault rifle. Alright, you got 15 points. What the fuck are we gonna do with you? I know what we're gonna do with you. Just gonna <laughs> put that all the way up. And put this all the way up. And put this up as high as we can. <laughs> Do I have a... Uh, yeah, I have heavy armor for you now. But I don't think I have any, like, actual heavy armor to equip. You can have that. I'm sorry, what are you rocking, Garrus? Okay. Predator. Oh, they're both kind of the same, right? And don't matter. Wait, this one has more? But the shields are worse. Okay. And of course I got nothing for me. Nothing new for me that's, like, good. Uh, shotguns. 160. Sniper for you. There you go. An assault rifle. Go fuck some shit up. There you go, squad. Let's fuck some shit up. I'm 
gonna switch to my shotgun now. Knock him on the ground. Don't run away now. Well, that was fun. Okay. Now, where the fuck? Was this just like an empty room to like shoot things in? I guess so. Oh wait, no. We gotta go this way. What the fuck? Oh, here's the door. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. You sure about that? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Fuck him up, Garrus. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Glad. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! Don't run! Oh my god. That was... satisfying. <laughs> you really shot him in the back. I don't know who did it because it wasn't me, but I feel like it really was Garrus who just shot him in the back. Alright. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. All right, so I think this medical equipment is stained with blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark reds. But his work has ended. Time to head back to the Normandy. <laughs> I don't know, we can raid his place real quick, you know? None of this shit, you know, can't just let it just sit here, right? Oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh no, oh fuck. There we go. Just gotta wait for your time. Alrighty. Isn't there something we can look in here for or something like that? Garrus, did I get renegade points for that? Or did we just shoot him for nothing? Alright, cool. I better get some fucking renegade points. If I can't get max intimidation, I'm gonna be fi fucking mad if I don't get max intimidation before we head to Vermeer. Because then that means something's gonna happen to you, Rex boy. <laughs> it might be good, it might be bad, I don't know. But something's gonna happen. All right, well, that was solved. Oh, my name is Dr. Hart. What are you doing? <laughs> Just end him. Uh, there's nothing else over here on these planets, right? So... Check out some dead scientists. Let's see. Uh... We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to drive around on the Mako. <laughs> Damn it! Um... 
kind of want to bring Ashley with us. Yeah, Rex and Garrus can just hang out. Mods, activate! Tell me where to go! Okay, there's some points of interest over there. I'll get all the deposits on my own time so you guys don't have to watch this boring bullshit. Oh my god, alright, chill out game. Ooh, you're having some loading issues. Either that's or some frame rate issues, I don't know, fucking something, something's being wonky out here. Holy shit. That, like, hard stutter you're seeing right now? That is... It's not the, uh... <laughs> that's not the whatchamacallit. It's not the stream. That That's the game. The game's just having a hard time. Oh, we made it to the point of interest beforehand. Actually, you know what? While I'm doing this, real quick, just so that everything is safe, 